John Johnson has nothing to do with chess. We're not Are playing chess okay, either. That's no, okay. Whatever you're smoking, put it down. Calm down. Oh yeah. Let, let yourself like find reality again. All right. So we find ourselves back in the uh, the world of uh, of yes, because I never actually came up with a name for this world because the world is getting yeah. knocked up. <laughs> the the oh, world, like, uh, the world of icky 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 pow. <laughs> John, yeah. John, now I just want to punch you. Ah, please do. But you're the one that put yourself in prison. So when we uh, last left off, session zero, we were all just kind of like having a good time. Um, just just to go over some things before we start today. Uh, first of all, uh, I do want to just make it clear. That yesterday was more again. I, I I wanted yesterday more of a tutorial than anything else. Um, and one thing about uh, one thing about one thing about this campaign that I just want to like make clear is that no matter what you guys do, like you guys are free to do whatever the heck you want. Um, it's just the campaign world is gonna go on without you, with or without you. Um, I already do have, like, a natural state of things, as in, like, the story will conclude in this way, even if you guys just do absolutely nothing. Even if you guys, like, found a plot of land outs out in the middle of nowhere and started role-playing Minecraft, the campaign will still come to a certain <laughs> end, no matter what happens. So just be aware of that. Um, I'm going to take a wish, and I wish to, I'm going to wish that it does it on the one of the endings you think of. Well, that's not an option, Ryan. <laughs> That's not an option. Because, because Ryan, that is one of the options. That is the ending. <laughs> Plot twist, Ryan. I've outsmarted you again. Ryan fucks us all over. <laughs> the universe just end on the spot. <laughs> so, so j not, not to, like, put any pressure, um, because, because, I mean, like, when I say that there's, like, a time limit to this campaign, I'm talking, like, probably in the vein of years, or at least months... Um, so don't feel like you need to, like, rush out to, like, find the main campaign, like, within the next, like, day, or all Armageddon will come down upon me. Again, I assume the main campaign will just happen to us eventually. Uh... Or it won't. It's, it, we'll it's... I, I imagine it. there's gonna be some hints to where we're supposed to go. It's not just, yeah, you have to go to this city, but we're never going to drop any hints that you have to go here. No, obviously, yeah, and and hopefully today you will get and some. Uh, we could go to the plate until you have to sit uh, to answer like a bunch of dumbasses. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully today I'll be able to drop some bigger hints so you guys can start maybe making a decision uh, okay, on which put your dice back which way you want to go. Dresser, did I? Oh, um, I let me um. Let me find some, let me find a slightly different bit of music for this one. It's, the lush forest is nice, but it's not really, not really capturing where we are right now. It's a technical yard. Nice uh, no, not we're not in the hood. It's more. Where the hood at? Huh. Where it's it's about to be the hood. Um. Man, I haven't I haven't been able to like sit down and like go through all of the. Uh, I don't think it's a technically fishing village. Well, I'm not just suggesting you're like, you know, a city sinner, but. <laughs> there we go. You're not, uh. You're a city sinner, Lord, okay? You're fair. Right. So, uh. So, so just keep that in mind. And, uh, also, one other thing. Um, I didn't for the first session, but probably from, like, this session onwards, I am gonna be tracking, uh, dates and times. Um. In the sense of like, like before, like for the first session, I wasn't gonna bother because I'm like, oh, we'll get to maybe like a couple days in game. It won't be that big of a deal. Um, a couple days shouldn't matter, but probably either from this or or maybe next session onwards, uh, there will be a date as uh, a date associated with every in-game day. Uh, so just keep that in mind for like referencing or or um, you know. He fucked. As he moves away from his mic. No, I just was putting something away. Anyways. He moved, how dare he? I know, how dare I? I can't like, crank my mic up. No, so, uh, we last left our brave adventurers, the party, I guess. Uh, Ryan, yeah, you were I'm just kind of, uh, you were just kind of chilling, big chilling in the, uh... I remember correctly, I was heading back to the main gate, because I don't remember... Correct, yes. I, uh, okay. find them. You were heading back to the main gate. Uh, Logan, you had just found the, uh, the pits which is like some back alley fighting arena, and you have scheduled a slot to participate in tonight. 
Uh, Joe, you have just been hauled away by what you can only guess are some kind of government authorities, and they are currently not happy with you. No, they dragged you out, Joe. After you started putting up a fuss... Yeah, they knocked you out, and they're, they're dragging you away, Joe. They're dragging you away. Um, so, Joe... Buddy. We're gonna pick up with you first, Brian, since. Yeah, like I'm gonna beat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, hey, yeah. Oh, do you think you can take down an entire town? Alright, hold on, let me cast Fireball as a, uh, bugbear <laughs> monk. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> good job, good job, Joe. Alright, so Joe, uh, when you finally come to, you are currently sitting in what best can be described as a dungeon. It's a dank, wet place with, you know, stone walls. Look like carved stone, actually. Uh, metal bars. Uh, and the cell you're in looks actually... It looks quite large for just one person. You gather that probably this is, this is maybe a cell for maybe, like, multiple people. Um, and there you are, just in a dark place. A couple torches illuminate the room. You hear the gentle pitter-patter of, like, some water as it leaks through. Um... Maybe a rat scurries across the ground. You're not sure if that was a rat or if it was something way worse. And there you are. So, Joe, go on ahead. What are you going to do? This is the reason why I hate people. Fair. I mean, walk around to see what, observe the surroundings. Give me, give me a perception check. <laughs> what about a jail? Okay. <laughs> well. Seven. Seven? Um, with a seven, you don't really notice anything too, um... Hello, Kaiser! He said to you in Patrick Stewart's voice. Um, as you're sitting there, uh, just kind of observing around, so I had to change the music over. Um, as you're sitting there, just kind of, like, looking around the place, you... Even with just a seven, you do notice, uh, a couple important things. First, you notice that there is a place for a guard to be sitting. Uh, outside of your jail cell to the left, there is a door that kind of enters into, like, the, uh, the, uh, the room where all the, uh, the doors of the cells kind of converge to. So it's, like, this, like, center circular room, and there's jail cells all around the edge of it. And then there's one door, and there's, like, a little area where a guard should be sitting, but there isn't. And you notice that there are a set of keys hanging on a little hook uh, right there. They're just kind of like hanging on a hook. The guard store? Yes. So like right by the door that like enters into the room where like all the jail cells are, there's like a stool where a guard would be sitting. And then on the wall right next to it is like, or like, a, it's, like a, it's like a rack for keys. And you see some keys sitting on like one of the metal hooks. Uh, from your particular cell, you're looking at maybe somewhere between 10, 15 feet. We'll say maybe like 12 feet away. How much... Can I potentially get smart with this? What's my base reach, John? It's your base reach? I mean... Like, how, how far can I reach? You're normal human, so I mean, you... I mean... Judging by my arm right here, I mean, you'd have probably at least a good, maybe like two and a half, three feet reach. Maybe if you really stretched out there, you probably could reach out a few feet. You cut out. You could probably reach a couple feet. Hmm. I mean, you're not exactly. I was like, you're not exactly like a lanky, super long person, but like, I mean, again, you're standard human height, so you're probably somewhere. I, I don't know what your character sheet said you were. Uh, let me pull that up, actually. 5'11. Right? 5'11. So, yeah, you probably have like, yeah, you probably have maybe like two and a half, three feet. You're not super tall or anything, so. Um, can I 
check to see if there's like any soft spots in the walls? Uh, yeah, sure. Make an investigation check. Uh, 14. 14? Okay. You start padding along the walls, and while you don't see any... While you don't see any soft spots necessarily, you do notice at the back of your cell towards... Eh, maybe several feet off the ground... Maybe like seven, eight feet off the ground. There is a crack in the wall, and you see water dripping down in a nice little, like, uh, in a nice little river. Like, a nice little river on the wall. Or uh, whatever you call that. Um, is there any way I could check to see if it's, like, fresh? Well, if it's from a river, is there any way I could check to see if it's fresh water or not? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, uh, what's it called? You kind of, like, you kind of, like, get a little bit in your hands and you and you taste it and you don't taste any salt at, at all so this is definitely fresh water okay because i have a uh water skin container that can hold four pints of liquid at first i will um fill that up uh it would take a while it's i mean it's a steady drip but it would take a while to fill up that whole skin okay well i'll just set it there under it for now okay Did they take, like, my weapons or anything? You check your inventory, and it's completely intact. You are not missing a single item. Well, shit. I may be big brain and small brain. Okay. So, John. Yes. Um, how do I check how far it is? Check how far what is? Uh, oh, 50 feet. Okay, 15, so... 15, not 50. 15. No, it says 50. For what? For what? Rope. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I have is a bag of 1,000 ball bearings. Okay. What I'm going to do is wait. Is there like at least like a hole or something to tie something into it? Uh, through like the ball bearings. Yeah. Uh, no, they're just solid ball bearings. There's like solid balls of metal. I really like this background music. This is really nice. Actually, so glad I found this. Good job, John. I have my crowbar, though, okay. which has the... Would I be able to, um, tie a rope to the crowbar and then shoot it with my bow? By any chance? You could try. <laughs> Why not tie a rope to the yellow? Or pick the lock. Just get the fuck out. Well, yeah, Whoa. I do. I'm the rogue, pick, struggling gonna, to get it out of prison. I'm pick the lock with my I know it was supposed to be the DM, but I love how he said, Hey, I have this crowbar. I'm going to try to shoot it like an arrow. <laughs> You're holding a crowbar, Joe. <laughs> You're holding a crowbar, Joe. I, I, I will... You have the best Joe... in jail scenario ever because you have all your shit. Joe, I, I will never give you hints past this point, but you have a crowbar. <laughs> Use the crowbar, please. <laughs> or, or something else, either way. But either way, just, you have a crowbar. <laughs> I've never known, like, what to do with a crowbar, though. Yeah, you, pr open. you pry things open like a jail cell. <laughs> I, also, Joe, Joe, please, please j and again, this is more. This is partially a learning experience for Joe. He is a first-timer, just so everybody watching this knows. Joe, roll an investigation check on the actual bars themselves. Look at that clean boy. Oh, 21. You notice that... The metal bars to your jail cell are very rusted. Like, these are old. These are not well kept. These are not brand new. Uh, you can tell by your investigation these have probably been dilapidated for several years. If not way longer. Hammer, uh, okay, give me a strength check. Wait, you have a hammer? Wait, what kind of hammer is it? It just says hammer. 
Like a carpentry hammer. I think it's just a standard hammer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it says, um, this one-handed hammer is a, with an iron head is useful for pounding pittens into a wall. Okay, yeah, I thought it was. Okay, yep, yeah, so you give me a roll. What'd you roll? Uh, 15 plus 1, 16. Okay. Uh, you walk over to the, the actual, like, the lock, you take your hammer, and you give it whack, 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 and about the third or fourth whack... Uh, you suddenly feel the hammer head <laughs> slightly go in and crunch the metal a little bit. Uh, some, like, rusted flakes drop to the ground. The entire jail cell lurches forward and then just kind of creaks open. What the hell? And right now, the jail cell is open. Hmm. What to do? <laughs> um, Thank you, you Roll for initiative, that. Bubs. Oh, Bubs got a 15. Good job, Bubs. Oh, oh, what what did Bubs get? um, That's a 16. Bubs rolled a 16 for initiative. Good job, Bubs. You did it. Bubs is going to kick your ass. Oh, 17. Oh, Bubs. Is that Bubsy's lucky dice? Is that Bubsy's lucky dice? I'll check to see if the door is locked. Nope. The door? The guard's room. Uh, oh, sorry. I I I must have. Uh, I, 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 I misled you a little bit. It's a doorway. There's no door there. Okay, then just take the keys and hide them in my backpack. Uh, okay. I just imagine just a really confused half elf standing mm-hmm. in front of a doorway, going, "How do I unlock this door?" <laughs> no, that was my fault. I I don't remember <laughs> no, if I mentioned no, I there know, was a door. Just... <laughs> 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 oh, who's sees a door? He's like, "Dude, what?" <laughs> Joe, um, you haven't put it twisted that long to hallucinate yet. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. I would uh, crouch down and slowly start walking through the doorway. Okay, as you uh, actually give me a give me a stealth roll then. Let's see how good your stealth is. Uh, look at the boy. Look at that big boy. Are you gonna sleep in your car bed tonight? Are you gonna be a big boy sleep in your car bed tonight? It's twelve. Let's put him down in like three minutes. I want to finish the section with Joe first. So Joe, as you uh, go down the very dark hallway um only illuminated by the occasional candle or really really low torch uh you head down uh every now and again you'll see little break offs left and right um as you kind of like glance down them you can see that there are more jail cells more rooms uh just like the one you were being held in uh you continue to go on and the one thing you notice as you're going on is that the entire place is dead silent very eerie. Um, you go on for some time, maybe a hundred feet, two hundred feet, a couple hundred yards. You really don't know because the darkness really is very disorientating. Eventually, you come to a staircase that leads up, and because of the darkness behind you and in front of you, you really can't tell where the staircase goes exactly. You get about maybe twenty steps up, and then it's just blackness. So, what we're gonna do okay. is. With my Hold on, let me read stuff. Oh, look, D and D. Oh, what's up? Okay, I'm just. I will get my uh, lantern out. Okay. You pull out your. Is it? Is it? Build the first time, or do I have to build it? Um, no, it, it would have been filled when you left town. I'll I'll give you that one. Um, so we'll so we'll say for sake of example that it. Bubs, what are you doing? Did did he just get one? Put all my dice in the bathtub. <laughs> if you don't mind. No, he's got he's got the dice in his hand still. Yeah, no, you you only like the d twenties. I get that. Never mind, Jesse asking, do you do this a lot? Um, I mean, this is something that, uh, what's it called? Um, I've done for a very long time. Um, this is something new I've always wanted to try for streaming, just because it's, it's always interesting to listen to a D&D campaign. At least I feel like it is. Thank you. Anyway, so yeah, Joe, so you pop the lantern, you turn it on, and as the light kind of flows up the staircase, you notice that there is a, uh, a double door 
um, kind of like a trapdoor almost, uh, at the top of the stairs, maybe about maybe 30, 40 steps up. It's quite a distance. Joe? I'd probably just go up it and then open the door slowly to peek out of it. Okay. You walk up the stairs, you creak the door open ever so slightly, and as you peek out, you... What you're greeted by is basically a a building. Uh, you know you know it's midday because through the holes in the building where the uh, windows would have been, um, or in some cases half windows, uh, you see the light kind of beaming in. And as you do, you can kind of see the building itself. Uh, definitely at one point was made of wood, um, wood and stone mixture. But all the wood is this like dark charcoal black color. Uh, it almost like the it almost looks like the building has actually caught fire, um, and not nearly, almost nearly burned to the ground. Um, as you open up the door and actually properly step out, because uh, there's nobody around you. Um, oh, I turn my lantern off too. Okay. So you turn your lantern off and. Put it back in the bag. And as you're standing there in this building, you can definitely hear the bustle of people. You can hear people walking around talking and all that. Um, but you have no idea where you are. You're just in this building that looks like it's just gone through a war. So the last time I never played D&D, &D, I have no clue how to do it, but if this um, free at night might help me sometime in the future. Oh yeah, absolutely. We would. We, we have right now two slots that anybody could fill in. Um, so yeah, just let me know if you wanted to actually uh, join us, Uzziah. I would... Uh, not be opposed to such a thing. These guys might need an extra person. Anyways. So, sorry Joe. Back to you. Uh, check for an exit. Um, as you look around real quick, I'm not going to have you make perception because it's not okay. nighttime. Uh, you see two different exits. Uh, you imagine one's front door, one's back door, probably. Um, just for... <sighs> Trying not to get caught... I'd go out the back door. Uh, what we're using right now, no, this is not a free app. This is a, it's, it's a game on Steam called Tabletop Simulator. It's, it's just like a, it's 20 the, bucks. yeah, it's about 20 bucks. Um, it's just the easiest thing that we have to run it. Uh, anyway, sorry, Joe, what was that? <laughs> we're, um, trying not to get caught, I'd go out the back door. Okay. So, you go out the back door, um, leads into, like, basically some, like, alleyways behind some buildings. Uh, you stealth through, uh, not, nobody's really back there at all, and eventually you t turn down one of the alleyways to go out to, like, you know, a road that you see, and as you pop out, you realize that you are back in the southern tier, like, the southern tier of the, uh, what's it called? The city. Um... In fact, oh, where you where you popped out was actually just, uh, what's it called? As you if you look down the street to your right, you can see like a sliver of the tavern. Um, down the street quite a ways. Now the tavern's by the front gate, right? No, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Just let me know, you say. No problem. What'd you say, Joe? Is the tavern by the front gate? Oh, uh, no, the tavern's qu closer to the center of city. In the south of the city. Um, I'd walk to the tavern and then find a way back to the front gate. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll put you on there. Alright. Let me switch the music over, because currently we're not in a dungeon. We're not currently in the castle, Joe. Yeah, I'll, I'll pause right here and we can get Bubsy to bed and then we can... Okay. I'm back. Okay. For what? Please do. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be good. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Okay, he climbed right into bed. That's that's impressive. Oh. Yep, switched him over to a race car bed. Climbed right in. He passed right out. What a good boy. He's going up so fast. All right. Anyways, apart from real life, time to go to back to the fantasy. So, uh. Logan. Huh? You're up next. Oh, goody. So, you've left the pit area. Uh, where were you going to go? Because I know, I know where Ryan's sitting right now. And Joe's uh, heading towards the front gate, so. What was I going to do after I left? 
so I have to somehow figure out where these morons went. Uh, fair. So I guess I'm gonna go back to the tavern where I mentioned I was going. Okay, that's fair. Just hang out at the gate if they're not there until it's time for me to go back to the pit. Good idea. All right, so we'll j I'll just kind of speed time up. You know, a couple minutes passed, and uh, Joe, Logan, you guys happen to just meet up at the tavern. Um, eventually, you kind of converse for a while. You hang out there, and then after Ryan doesn't show up, you eventually go back to the gate you came into, as uh, that's like your only reference point. And Logan, there's... I got jail. <coughs> idiot. <laughs> screw you two. <laughs> and then uh, as you guys uh, come back to the, uh, the front gate, uh, there's Ryan just standing there probably whacking off for the past, like, I don't know, hour, maybe. <laughs> Ryan, what have you been doing all day? <laughs> ah, he's dead. <laughs> right, well, yeah, you walk over, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, uh, your Dragonborn Sorcerer is dead, so now it's just you two, and you're screwed. Oh, oh hey, Ryan. Logan, Logan, they wanted to know where you guys were. Why did, why, what, what do you mean? Um, something what do you mean? happened. Oh, yo! Oh, Shut Joe, up, yeah, yeah, no, hold on, Ryan, hold on, Ryan, well, what happened, Joe, why are they asking about us, huh? Um, yeah? Joe, your battle, I assume they fixed you. I'm gonna kill what? you, Ryan. What the hell are you people talking oh, about? Oh, I just saw Joe, they were trying to I'm evolve. literally I'm about, about ready to put my rape, I'm literally about ready to take out my rapier and stab you in the throat with Wait it. Wait a minute, so they carried him off because uh, he's mentally ill. That, Joe. Joe, why did they think you're mentally ill? Um... I don't want to talk about it. No, I think we should talk about it. No, I don't think we should. Well, they, fixed him, right? they fixed you. <laughs> fixed him from what? Why? What did he yeah. do? Yeah. <laughs> they showed me they'd release him when he's battled. Surely he's battled, right, Joe? Joe, he broke Only out. Only when didn't I you? had to break out what? of prison. You broke out of prison. Can, can we go? Can we just leave, please? No. We'll, we'll no, find. A... We'll find work in the next city. Your pet. I have wait. a fight in the pits. Why? Why did they? Your pet can wait, let's go. Goodbye. Where? What? Why did you go to jail? Goodbye. Um, why reasons. are they asking about us? Reasons. Alright, here's the front of my hand. Um. <laughs> roll for attack. Okay. <laughs> so wait, wait, can I dodge? I can roll for attack. Well, let D&D &D Beyond roll this one for me. <laughs> no. Uh, 13. Joe, what's your armor class? 13. Uh, I think it's 13. Uh, 13. Logan, uh, you go to slap him, and he kind of ducks out of the way weaselly, and you just kind of whoop over the top of his head with your gigantic, meaty paws. Stop. Joe, Chewbacca, why are they stop, looking for us? Chewbacca, stop trying to hit Joe. me. Okay, I, I get closer. I'm just kind of looming over you. Joe, why are they looking for us, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> they're racing, they're looking for us, Joe. Oof. Right. Well, I have a fight in the pits, and you're useless, so I'm leaving. Uh, y'all can meet me back at the front gate sometime, I guess, because this is the only place we all probably generally know where to go. God knows what Ryan did all day. Wait, wait, Logan! Logan, I went to that, um, John. wall! Hold on. What bar? That you, uh, you know, last... I, I last knew you were one to do, you know, yeah. what's the questions? I did oh, um... Yeah? What did you talk... Did you talk to fight and deal with something? I don't know, when I left yeah, it was I, nice and I, peaceful. I heard screaming while I was walking by. Huh. Ah, drunk people, who knows? Somebody probably Logan. called someone else's Things mom happen. up. Hobgoblin or something. What'd uh, you do? <laughs> I don't do nothing. I'm a good fella. Really? Is that why, yeah, I, saw, yeah. is that why I saw a rock in the air? Oh, wait, okay, you saw a rock and you think it's me? Yeah, because... Uh, that doesn't make know. any sense. Suspicion. Well, it's not me, and I don't really care, and you're suspicious anyway, so uh, I'm gonna go fight in the pits. You can come watch, or you can sit out here by this gate and die. I don't really care. Sure, um, can we cause... find a place that will give me a hood, though? No, no, you know what? It's your own problem. You won't tell us about it. You can suffer through it. Uh, but <laughs> I was starting to tell you about it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to head to a tavern. Great, making my way downtown. That, uh, you went to a different one. A different Fine. tavern? Yes. Okay. Oh, that, you know, might not be so happy. <clears throat> On the same side of town. Yes, I don't have no way to take to the other side, as I found out. Fair. Wait, wait. John, check my bag for the card. You have the card Why on you he... still. Why does he have to check your bag? Hey guys, we can go to the northern part of town. Why can we go to the northern part of town? Um, well, you see, <laughs> when they were taking me away... Uh-huh. ...for reasons... Right, mm-hmm. 
I got sat down in a white blocky building that made me um want to go insane and slice people's throat That's with nice. my stick. Okay, yeah, why right do you here? have this card? Um, why do you have this card? The dude gave me a card. Why? Yeah, let, let, let me take um, this because he poison, may right? have struck me a deal. Uh, you broke out the prison, so, right? Yeah. The dogs are looking for you. There's dogs at every prison, so you want to take this piece of paper that they know <laughs> they gave to you and hand it to a dog to take you across the prison. And the dogs no. are looking for you. No, Ryan, that's where you're stupid, because just take the damn card. Mocking away. <clears throat> Yes! So they didn't watch me and ask me how I tap it. Mm, yeah, so <laughs> uh, I right. mean, I'll pass. Okay, this kind of the whip for like a smart person. Logan, Tell me how. <laughs> Logan begins to just wander away. <laughs> uh, right, right, where are you heading? I'm heading to a tavern. I need to turn twin tap for this tap for station. Alright, there is only one other tavern on the southern side of, uh, of the town. Like a straight bar. Um, but yeah, you know, you, you've hey. seen it. Turn around. Hey guys, where are we sleeping? Okay, I guess I'm lonely again. I don't know. Depends on if you want to stay in this city or not. Well, I have shit to do tonight, and I'm gonna have to pick it up. In. Great, let's go to, uh, uh, an inn near the one I was at, but not the one. Yeah, uh, I you go there. Uh, the, the taverns in this town are more just straight up bars, the inns are separate establishments. Okay, let's go to the. Um, what's the closest inn to the front gate? Oh, to the front gate? Uh yeah. oh, jeez, hang on. Which one would be the closest? I have like I have like a general idea of the map of this town in my head. It would probably be down to the left, honestly. Yeah. Great, right, Ryan, go there. Get us a room. I'll uh, meet Dad, you there I'm when we're going. We'll meet up there at the end. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. All right. <laughs> so you two hey. scatter oh, I'm off. Good again, Joe. <laughs> Joe, what are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, Logan, where's the bed brawl? Oh yeah, I, like halfway <laughs> down the street, I turn around, I hear this, I pull it out of my bag, and I just whip it. Boof! <laughs> 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 right in front of Joe, just just lands the bed roll. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so Joe, what are you gonna be doing exactly? Like I. Well, I guess I'm sleeping in the forest. <laughs> You know I'm not welcomed anymore. Um, okay. What? That's a poor decision, but <laughs> so you're... I can't tell you this. So, you're go... so Joe, <laughs> Joe, just just so I can kind of walk you through this, you're, you're going to currently leave the city, <laughs> walk out to the middle of the forest, plop a bedroll down, <laughs> and then go see <laughs> BC, right? Is that... But, John, what the hell else am I going to do? <laughs> do many things. So I, I offered you... Maybe follow one of your comrades you. instead of being alone all the time. Maybe that yeah, would be a I'll beneficial. Find out, follow Logan. <laughs> That's f okay, fine. <laughs> because big bugbear. Logan, uh, as you're walking down the street, to a fight club. <laughs> you, you, you kind of like turn around occasionally because you know you're always looking over your shoulder. Uh, mm -hmm. And there, there is Joe, just Weasley, just. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but like, you you, you, you can, me. but like, you can see him like trying to be all sneaky because he's the rogue. So he's kind of just like <laughs> he's, he, 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 he's kind of pulling off like a really bad like. He thinks he's playing Ezio, but he's really not doing it very well. And it's just like ah, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna honestly. pick up my pace. I'm gonna pick up my pace. <laughs> and Joe follows. He just, he just, he just, it's, it's like that w one meme where it's like, you know, you start running and then the person behind you starts running faster <laughs> and eventually it just ends with both of you, it, it hands in the air, just screeching Sprinting. your lungs out, <laughs> full dead sprint down the road. Uh, anyway, so, so that's happening. Uh, Ryan, you head over to the, uh, what's it called? You head over to the inn and, um, place doesn't have a name. It just kind of has like a picture of like a fish in bed, like etched out onto like a wooden, like, uh, like, like a wooden shield sign. And um, and uh, well, there you go. There's your end. It's uh, it's a lovely establishment, you know. Nice sturdy wood it's construction. And uh, yeah. What time is it, by the way? Uh, currently, right now. Hang on, Joe would have broken out of prison around. Give it an hour. Uh, about two thirty. Yeah, two thirty, maybe pushing three o'clock. You're not hundred percent sure. You don't have a watch on you right now. So I'm gonna probably want to stay here um three hours. How much do bills cost? How much just in ale? Oh, an ale? Uh, what was it? Two cop? Ale. No, no one cop. No, hang on. What was it? Crap. It one cop. One cop. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there would be different kinds of bail. 
Well, you just have like a basic ale, right? Yeah, just a basic ale. Yeah, one copper. Right. Uh, for for the most part, one. for the most part, like you, you can imagine, like economies are more regional. So, like a beer in this region, you're you're more like the plains area, maybe some hills. If you went out to the uh, desert, it might be like two or three I, copper. I, I'm, or whatever. I'm going to assume I'm going to be here for like three hours. So I'll buy three of them, like over that, over the course of the three hours. Okay, that's fine. So go ahead, spend your three copper. You just kind of bum around at the end. Um, uh, four, but yeah, tavern. Oh, that's right. No, you wanted to go to the. You wanted to go to the tavern. I thought you said you wanted to go find a place to sleep. No, no, I no, told him later. to go find us a place to sleep. Oh. No. Wait, we do to do that later. I went to the bar and went printing. Oh, sorry, no, no. Okay, then then scratch that one thing I said about the fish. No, no, you went to the other bar, which, again, another picture of a fish, except the fish is upside down. Nice. Hey. Like, that's <laughs> convenient. <laughs> I like this place. <laughs> it's, it's just fish upside down. Yeah, that's that's their sign. It's, it's great. That's, that's Okay, convenient. never mind. So, yeah, Ryan, you're just going to go to the bar and have a nice drink and just chill out there for a few hours. Logan yep. and Joe. So, Logan, you are heading over to where exactly? I can't remember where you said you were going to go. Pets. Oh, already? Oh, wait. Well, when is that supposed to start? <clears throat> I can't remember. This was... Uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be more nighttime. So, I mean, you'll probably want to go there. Uh, we'll say the guy told you around like 8 o'clock. You cut out. Huh? 8 o'clock. Oh, okay. 8 o'clock. Okay. I, uh, I don't know why it's breaking up. Hmm. Would have a sun that's, dial, that, kind of that one's gotta like, be your Discord kind of like, though. Kind of like a park kind of Techie deal. Huh. Just like open, grassy area, you know, for activities. Outside of town? Or? town. No, like oh. in the town, just like, you know, like a park or something. Uh, no, not really. Uh, no. Look at these bums. Hey, Logan. Yeah. Uh, Remember, it's a town, not find... a city. <laughs> Logan, can you find a way to get me a hood, please? Hey, why do you keep bothering me? Uh, Who are you? Look, man, when the guards come over, I don't know who you are, because I don't know what you did. <laughs> but I thought I told you. No, you said, I did a thing. And then you said they were asking about me, and I'm not interested in being asked about by whoever you made think you're clinically insane. <laughs> um, oh, okay. You know what? Come here. I'm going to just, I'm going to use you to, as a pregame workout. I just pick <laughs> Joe up, no, 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 okay. no, 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 and I start deadlifting him. No, okay, that's um, fair. Right, running away, athletic check, 11 plus, uh, <laughs> where uh, is go it? On, uh, uh, Logan, make, a, make an attempt to grapple. Plus okay. 3, oh, 14. What's the, what's the, 14 fresh life. Shut up, what's the check for that, athletic? Uh, I believe it's either, it's athletics or, yeah, I think it's just strap athletics, I think, at this point. I think. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's 20. Oh, uh, plus plus five, so twenty-five. Ooh, oh, nat God. twenty. Uh, yeah, Joe, you like take a step to run away, and suddenly Logan just grabs the back of your shirt, falls over Stop on the it. ground, and just <laughs> urr, 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 <laughs> as you're just kind of like there, just screeching your lungs out as everybody just kind of like looks at and, like passersby are currently like looking over at you, like, are these two okay? Should we help them? Should we call the guards? Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's no, better. Maybe it's no. best to just leave it. I don't know. No, I'm gonna shut the hell up right now. I'm going to shut up and oh. deal with it. Okay, so so you're just there. So you, so you go from like screaming, and then all of a sudden it hits you like, wait, I probably should be screaming. And you just kind of go, hope, and then just back and forth and back Sitting and forth just... and back and forth. <laughs> and like uh... really bored and annoyed. After a while, I just kind of like stop. Like suddenly, just like holding him up in yep. the air, and then it's drop him. Not gonna throw him up and try and hit him on his head head first. <laughs> All right, so All after right. Your, so after impromptu workout in the center of the street, um, <laughs> smack him. You, you you still have probably a couple hours to kill. Okay, I'm gonna go to the closest bar to like where the pit area is. Okay. And, uh, Logan, I'll tell you at the bar. Um, you head back to the bar that you originally went to. Um, as you, as you walk over to it, you notice a couple things immediately. You see a bunch of broken glass on the floor, like outside the bar. Uh, the front window has been smashed. Uh, there is at least one chair and about four pieces on like the front porch. Uh, okay. as you walk in, you see, um, you see like a couple tables have had like a couple boards like smashed on them. Uh, a couple tables have been knocked over and, uh, generally people, you see like the barkeep, his buddy, 
and then like one other employee that must be like maybe like shift change uh in there kind of like cleaning things up sweeping up the broken glass and uh, the one guy he recognizes you and he goes oh it's you oh do i want to ask what happened you know that man whose pocket you picked Logan? wrong oh. man to pick sir he went Logan, on a mess you... he went on a crazy spree we had to put him down you picked on so in someone's pick pocket shut up anyway oh. um oops my bad yeah uh, okay. meanwhile we're just gonna give you this dirty look of I like try to really. make I, if i could make it up to you somehow i I'll, i can try that'd I be mean, I, have a pit, I have a pit fight later but i mean i'll i'll I, I, I kind of feel bad. I'll, I can do something for you if you want. Well, it'd be much appreciated, definitely. Cause uh, hey, what be think the useless drunk would uh, <laughs> throw a tirade like this? Nah, he's he's been known to do this for the weirdest of reasons. We've just never seen anybody actually have the balls to pickpocket him. Last guy, he bit his throat out. Jesus. Well, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just sit at the bar. Kind of pretend, like, pretending Joe's not there because I'm irritated with him. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I'm just gonna get like, wait a minute. Uh, wait, when the when the barkeep starts, I'm gonna ask for an ale, and when when the barkeep starts making it in the, like the regular glass, yeah, I'm gonna be like, no, 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 hold on, I, I think you don't see how big I am. No, I'd like a, and I just like show him with my hands, like some of the size of like a, like a like a big pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm gonna get one of these, man. <sighs> All right. He reaches down, pulls out, like, the entire bottle, just dumps it in this huge pitcher, pushes it down. Uh, yeah, that'll be two silver, sir. All right, here. I, I give him three. <laughs> Much appreciated. Just puts it <laughs> in I just, just kind of sipping at it for a while, waiting for time to pass. All right. I'm sitting next to Logan. You know. I don't share any. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, I'm going to order one now. All so right. The normal ones, though. One copper, sir. Okay, here you go. All right. Uh, so you guys sit there, you enjoy your drinks, uh, and eventually, you know, eight o'clock rolls around. But I was gonna tell Logan what happened too. So. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll just say you filled him in on all the details that I talked about last time. Yeah. So now, Joe. You fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> you almost got out, and they thought you were just an idiot. <laughs> and then you told them you had friends. Meanwhile, all the barkeeps are just kind of like giggling themselves, trying to like keep themselves serious and just continue their work, but they also are all just laughing at this point. I slam the rest of the pitcher. Time to go. <laughs> just so leave fair. regardless of if he follows me. <laughs> Joe, are you going to follow him to the pit? Joe? Oh gosh, Joe? Well, Joe may be dead. That's no, unfortunate. No, I'm not. Oh, hi, Joe. I was saying something this whole time. Oh, you cut out too. Oh, good. At least we're all cutting yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That was like nothing at all. It was just, <laughs> it was just dead silence. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. Before we go to the pit, uh, Ryan, what were you, uh, Wait. what were you gonna be doing during this time? I turned that six. I was gonna leave. I ordered enough for three hours. No, I know. I'm just saying, like, what, what, what were you doing after six? After that, I'm going in to put uh, what's it called, a place to sleep for the night. Uh, okay. Uh, well, you go into the, you go into the, uh, what's it called? Into the inn, and they say, uh, for... Do you want three individual rooms, or do you want, like, one room for all three of you? Would a one-room thing be, like, have three beds in it? Like, uh, yeah. no. No. And probably three individual okay. rooms. Uh, three individual rooms but are gonna... I they didn't buy their own when they did hail. So uh, I'll take one room for me. Uh, okay, that'll be, uh, what's it called? It'll be, uh, five silver a night. Five silver, and I pay him five silver. Alright. Oh, good. Mariah needs some views. Anyways, uh, so, go okay, so, at this point, uh, Ryan, are you gonna go join them at the pit, or are you gonna just go to bed? Nope. Okay. I'm going, uh, what's it called? To the bed? Alright. Is that done with food, by the way, or no? Do I have to uh, take the last in or buy food? Um... In this section of town, no, nah, wouldn't really come with food. Right. So yeah, I'd either eat a ration then I'm or... Gonna go, does this place have a like, place for food or no? Oh yeah, you can absolutely, you can purchase food there, yeah. Right, then I'm going to buy a meal. Okay. Sensubi! Uh, going ahead, a nice hearty <laughs> meal, uh, subtract like, we'll say, we'll say like, uh, we'll say three copper. How much tap, Three. Three? Three. Uh, 
Uh, all right. <laughs> Three. All right. So, uh, Joe and Logan, you guys head down to the pits. Uh, by the time you guys get there, uh, Logan, what was once a fairly peaceful, fairly quiet place has now become a raucous, heavy metal concert looking deal. Uh, there's maybe about maybe 50 to 60 people there, uh, all in various states of dress and or undress. Uh, you see a couple dudes walking around that are just, uh, they're clearly there to participate. Um, you see the same gentleman that you talked to before. Uh, he's, uh, at this point, you probably guess he's probably something along the lines of, like, the, uh, like the coordinator or whatever. And he is currently, uh, you know, just kind of seeing to that everybody goes to their places. Uh, and currently right now, there's a match going on in the pit right now. You see a lot of people uh, tossing money into the pit. A um, couple guys just screaming their heads off. And then you hear the sound of the fight going on inside the pit itself. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to the guy, you know, check in, whatever. All right. Figure out who I'm supposed to be fighting, and then uh, survey the competition after that. Uh, okay, you'll be, you'll be fighting uh, this gentleman. He did not give me a name. Uh, he's a, he's a, uh, he's an orcish gentleman. Uh, he's been around here. He's been around here a little bit. He's, he's, he's had one or two fights. He's, uh, he, he's definitely won his keep around here. Uh, I think he was the one that volunteered to fight you first. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Could you point him out for me? Oh, yes. Is he here? Yes, absolutely. He's, he's right over there. And you see this, uh, this orcish gentleman uh, standing about maybe six and a half feet tall, maybe pushing, you know, six and three quarters feet tall. Um, this dude's jacked. Uh, <laughs> currently not wearing a shirt. Uh, you imagine he probably doesn't care for a shirt at this point. Um... Uh, his face has all got several scars on it, clearly from either uh, hunting, battle, whatever, you know, various different uh, <clears throat> accoutrements. Um, and he's currently just kind of warming up on a sandbag, it looks like. He's got set up over uh, over in this little area where a bunch of fighters seem to kind of have, like, uh, their own little stations. Um, I mean, he looks like a guy who could take in a fight. Doesn't look super ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Logan I'm just gonna, I'm gonna goes walk over to him. Dude. All right. I'm gonna introduce myself. Uh, so, but not not with my long-winded name. No, that's fair. That's fair. Thalmec, obviously a bugbear. What, what a just... shocker, there, kids. And uh, <laughs> he he kind of oh, he kind of he, he looks you over for a second, cottage. and then he kind of like lets his hand out to you and goes, Ah, pleasure to meet you. I just shake it firmly and uh. Ah, uh, so you're the new meat that they got this us. Be a good fight. <sighs> oh, don't worry, it will be. Don't worry. If you want me to take it easy on you, I will. I know new guys are always a little nervous around here. I'm okay. just gonna go sit in the stands. Look, oh, good, you should, unless they mistake you for a competitor <laughs> and you die. <laughs> well, and this, is gonna, fight. this is gonna be a lot of me oh, running and shooting <laughs> arrows at a dude. <laughs> just, I like look back over at the orc. <laughs> if. I wish I didn't know that one. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Fair. I'll see you in the pit. <laughs> All right, good luck. All right. Uh, eventually, uh, the night the night goes on for a little while, and eventually you're called into the pits. It's now your turn. Uh, you jump on in there, and uh, he jumps down there as well as the other two participants are... Uh, well, one guy crawls out. Uh, he, he crawls out pretty <laughs> successfully. Uh, the other guy needs a little bit of help. Um... Obviously, no one has died, but the one guy clearly, uh, he clearly, uh, had a little bit of a... He, he tripped down some stairs. He tripped down a few stairs. Um. <laughs> fell down the stairs. Right, <laughs> he fell <laughs> down those stairs, officer. I don't know how that happened. Alright, so let's see here. Right. Let me see here. Kinda... There we go. Um, Alright. So, you both jump down to the pit. Let's go over to the battle. Let's go down to the battle arena. Da, 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 da. Oh no, Joe, listen to the music that I'm playing in the stream. This is the music that Logan's gonna fight to. What's it, the, uh, what's it, Dodd? Phantom Menace? I will. Hold on, I've got, I've got to meet the Discord for a second. That's fine. Uh, before it before it starts, I I mutter a prayer to Hrugek, 
Ah, yes, uh, Bugbear, bear, God of Violence, and then Scarab. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's, that's great. Way, right, John? <laughs> yep. Indeed. Yeah. Really? Yep. Absolutely. I was like, what am I gonna worship? And I found two that kind of worked, and I'm like, all right. I feel like Tower works for me fairly well. Oh God. Okay. Oh, it's an evil dad. Oh, uh, Logan, where are you? Light the uh, I dad. Think I'm over there. there you go. All right. So the arena 30 by 30 pit. So uh, this last squares, these last squares on the checkerboard uh, don't exist. That's the wall. Okay. Uh, the movement is inside that, so it's like one one tile in. Uh, at this okay. point, Logan, uh, the uh, announcer guy, you know, he announces both your names, gives you uh, gives you all a second to prepare yourselves. This is an unarmed bout, so this okay. is simply going to be com this is going to be unarmed. Uh, what's called unarmed combat. Um, and as as the uh, what's called the fight coordinator makes explicitly clear, no killing. This is not a th this is a place to have no a killing. good. This is brutally murdered. This is this, this is a place to have a good, honest to goodness, clean street fight. But we don't want anybody getting hauled out of this pit in a body bag. Not yet. All right. Fair. <laughs> Fair. See the the oh, hair. Roll for oh, initiative. Stand straight up. Ah. Eighteen. Eighteen? Alright, you will be going first. He wants like to pull up his stat block. It's a level twenty. It's not a level, level twenty, 20. good lord, Ryan. What dude I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's not mortal him. <laughs> That'd be kind of brutally beat him to hub. Ryan. Like, you just beat me to death, like what? <laughs> Oh, uh, what was it? Take one second. I should have had his stat block prepared. Do you have to take your bonus action after your action? Oh uh, no, nope. Uh, the only okay. thing, the only thing that's time set, that the only thing that's like turn sensitive is a reaction. And you take that off right. your turn. Okay. Do I have a reaction? If he moves out of combat with you. Oh, oh, well, yeah, that, of course. I think everybody did that one. Which is amazing for me, because my reach is stupid. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're leaving? Clear me here. <laughs> if something's in my reach that I'm getting a reaction to it if it leaves, I'm in Tanzo already. <laughs> you mind if I have my spear? It's like 15 feet. I'm like, bat, move. I dare you. See what happens. <laughs> or maybe that's bad because then they have to move farther in order to actually get that. I don't know. Also, Joe disconnected. Joe disconnected? I... No, I didn't. Oh. Yeah, he did. You're oh. no longer in tabletop. Or at least in ours. But anyway. Alright, good. Okay, let me try and rejoin mm -hmm. it real quick. Yep, no problem. Alright. Let me get my pencil. All right, Logan, you're gonna go first. Give me one second, and then. Let me test. You don't try and use your bonus action to not him, Tom. Would that wouldn't Ted need you dead? I bet you like stop trying to predict me. Now I gotta change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Ryan! Shut up. <laughs> me and my 40 feet of movement are gonna do whatever I want to. Okay. <laughs> A net of dogs so you did advantage and the other nets to tat. And then stomp his face in. Uh, no, okay. Go ahead, Logan, you're right. whenever you're ready. Okay, so I have ten feet of reach. So would I have to be here to hit him? Uh correct. Or do I yes. hit him from here? Oh no, you hit him from okay. from right there. So it's five ten no, and then that counts. This as... one. Five ten. He's within ten feet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, where the fuck was I? Right here. Great. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let out a bellowing roar. All right. I'm sure it's terrifying because I'm a bear thing. And then, uh. To most. To, <laughs> to most. Uh, no, probably not an orc, but. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do an unarmed strike. Okay. Duh. 19 to hit. 19 hits. Okay. Do I have a d4? 
That's the little triangle thing, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. Five points of damage, okay. Yep, and then I'm gonna do, uh... I'm gonna do patient, I'm gonna spend a key point. Yep. And do patient defense. Okay. So I have a dodge action as a bonus action. I, I assume that's for their next attack, right? <clears throat> there we go. I'm uh, not sure how dodging works. Dodging is... Uh, how does dodge work? Uh, hang on, let me just look that up just so I don't miss. I, I'm sorry, I'm just imagining a super agile butt bear right now, and uh, I don't <laughs> hey, like man, uh, I when you really take high the... dexterity. All right, when you... Uh, uh, I'm just telling you, I don't like what I'm imagining. <laughs> Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, so how it works is if you take the dodge action, so it costs an action to do, uh, you focus solely on avoiding attacks until the next uh, start of your next turn. Any attack roll made against you has disadvantage. Uh, if you can see the attacker, you make dexterity saving throws with advantage. And yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if you spend an action, you can have an entire turn of basically everybody gets disadvantage when going to make a strike against you. But, okay. But you spent your action on combat, so do you want to make any movements, or...? on his side, okay. and then, like, get ready to dodge whatever he's throwing at me. Alright, he is going to turn and face you, and then he is gonna make, uh, two unarmed strikes against you. He does get multi-attack. So, first strike is a, does a 15 hit? Yeah, uh, it's tied, so I would think I... Uh, nope, so it does not hit. 15 is armor uh, Oh, next one definitely hits. That's a 25, yeah. He rolled 19. Doesn't he roll with its advantage? No, because you need to spend an action to use the dodge. It says bonus action. Oh, really? It is bonus action. Oh, never mind. Because then, yes. you can spend one key point to take the oh. dodge action as a bonus action on your never turn. Never mind. Uh, his disadvantage roll is a 17, so it still hits anyways. It still anyways. hits me. Yeah. yeah. First one definitely misses because he rolled a 5. He's garbage. All right, so he's going to make a attack against you. I like my D4s. Because I always lose my D4s. as I dump my entire dice bag out trying to look for one. Ah, there's one. There's a couple. Okay, perfect. All right, and against you, he rolls a three. So three points of bludgeoning damage. Three damage, okay. And then he is going to just kind of stand his ground. He's he's ready for you. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of. I grin after my head snaps back from uh, you know getting punched in the face like oh okay, and I'm gonna uh, rear back. I'm gonna they launch take an off arm the strike. All right. Uh, Alright. Fourteen. Uh, fourteen does not hit. Okay. Uh, oh. Thrilling. I'm gonna spend a key point. Do uh, flurry of blows. Okay. Seventeen. Seventeen does not hit. For the first one. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Holy crap! He had to roll a net twenty. Fucking hit him again. So yep, whatever. All I'm right. standing here awkwardly. Okay. Wasting my time. He is going to go on ahead and attempt to make two attacks against you. Uh, first one is a thirteen, which I believe ties. Oh, uh, no, it's not even close. Oh, not even close. Then. Okay. And next is going to be a 15 again. So, no, you're safe. He, whoom, whoom, and misses with you with both of his strikes. And you can definitely tell that as you're fighting, he definitely seems to be enjoying himself. Like, you're definitely putting up a bit more of a challenge than he probably gets half the time. Uh, I'm getting visibly aggravated. Yeah, throw another unarmed strike at him. All right. 17 again, what the fucking do, doesn't hit, great. Nope. Waste another key point for no reason, because I'm not going to hit him. Alright. 22. Oh, that Does hits. Does that hit? Yeah, that yeah, hits. Great, I would have started screaming at you. 
And then I'll <laughs> roll for the other fucking attack. Alright. 18. 18 uh, does hit. Actually, no, sorry, no, it does. It ties. So, no, it does miss. What? Jesus fucking Christ, I love this thing shit. Thing anyway. 18? Yeah, no, I'm used to it at this point. Here we go. I did a whopping Holy 7 hell, damage. John. There you go. How much damage? 7. Oh, really? Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, he, he's definitely taking some damage. He, he's, he's looking, he's looking hurt. Like, he, he, he was at one point looking pretty confident, but now you definitely... He, he's got some blood dripping down his nose, and he, he's, he's looking a bit irritated himself. Okay. So he's going to actually... Oh, wait, I, technically I hit him with the flurry of blows. Yeah, so... you did. Oh, you definitely did, yep. So I'm going to use uh, the, the open hand technique. He yep. has to... I'm going to knock him prone, so he has to have a dexterity save. Ooh, dexterity save. Okay, what's the DC? To, uh, 12. And fails miserably. That's an 11. <laughs> So... Alright, so now he's prone. Alright, so he's prone. Uh, That's he... the end of my turn. Uh, okay, so he is going to... Uh, yeah, he's gonna, ha he's gonna have to get back up. Um, actually, do you get a... No, I guess not. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, th he's gonna jump right back up. He's all of his movement to get back up. And then he's just gonna lay right into you again. He is not. He's not having you right now. Uh, that's an eleven to hit, so that misses. And then a oh, jeez, he's rolling like garbage. Twelve. So again, he's just at this point, he's kind of flown into like a blind rage, just throwing punches. He kind of like nicks your arm a little bit, but not really actually landing anything like solid. I've like visibly calmed down at this point. I'm like, no, I'm not like the right rage. I was at the beginning, I'm just kind of like looking at him, like. Like, you know, that little, like, head tilt that, like, puppies do? <laughs> just like... Okay. And then, uh... I think I can punch tight twice by default. I'm not sure. Can I...? Uh, let me see. Can you make two strikes yet? I know later on you can. You may not be able to just yet. I mean, obviously, Fury of Blows does a lie to make more. Uh, attack, cast a spell, attack. Um. I don't think I can. Not. I think I have to have a weapon to do that. I believe you're correct, yes. Two weapons okay, fighting. Well, a eight. I'm gonna punch it in the face. Well, actually, hang on. Who's gonna... hang on. When you use the attack action, arm strike or monk weapon as your turn, you can make one. Oh no, you can! Yeah, as a bonus action. Yeah, unarmed strike. When you use the attack action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon on your turn, you can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. So it consumes your bonus action, but you can swing twice. Okay. All right. Well, the first one missed uh, violently. Okay. And then uh, that was like a fucking eleven, and that missed too because that's fifteen. So I stand there awkwardly. <laughs> so you're, you're, man you're, apparently you're... brought like plate armor to a pit fight. Dude, you're both just like swinging away at each other, you're dodging back and forth. He's taking hits in the chest, and you're taking it's hits in the face. It's a Dragon Ball Z match. It's a fight already. All right, first attack against you is a... <laughs> That's an eight. Her <laughs> uh, Next no. one is a 12. Holy crap, I suddenly can't roll to save my life. All right, so yeah, again, just poof, poof. You're both just like, at this point, you're both panting. You're both looking at each other like, oh my gosh. Um, the rage in his face has kind of more turned at this point into respect. Like, it's like, okay, no, this this newbie actually has some skills. I'll give him that, you know? I thought it was dumb luck at first, but now he's, he's okay. So you're right. up, Logan. Yeah. Time to finish this. Lies. Wrong, because that's it. <laughs> See if the Blake second one will later. Come on, green die. <laughs> no? All right, at this point, he... At this point, you see him just kind of get this grin on his face, and then he charges forward and attempts to grapple you and knock you to the floor. Okay, do I have to make a check for that? Okay. Uh, he just has to beat your... Armor uh, class, I think. There's no dexterity saving throw for this? Uh, it's a... I think, it's, I think it's a strength thing. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, grappling is one of those weird ones that I'm always just like. No incarbates will grappling charts, no feats. If you want to put a wizard in a headlock, you just go ahead and do it, but how does it exactly work? 
Uh, whenever you make a melee attack, you can choose to try and grapple a dude instead. You need at least one free hand to do this. You can't grapple somebody two or more size categories. No, Logan's not. Attempt to grapple. Make a strength athletics check. The guy you attempt to grapple gets to try to avoid your sick wrestling prowess. They get to make their own. Okay, so it's uh, it, you roll athletics to try to beat his athletics roll or acrobatics, whichever one you prefer. Okay. I'm so you both roll, make a uh, you both make athletics, athletics. check. Athletics. Yep. So it's it funny. Is, I have both athletics. Uh, he rolled a fourteen. Oh, uh, he got oofs because I rolled a seventeen and then plus five. So Ooh. Like, Logan. So he attempts Logan, to. I saw that. So he attempts to grapple you and just kind of like wraps your arms around him. You kind of like knee him in the stomach and then push him off of you. And this dude just kind of like staggers a second and just looks at you with this puzzlement of like, "Wow, okay, I was expecting that to work." Your move. I'm gonna grapple him. Okay, <laughs> go on ahead. Your, your dice rolling sucks right now. Yeah, it does. Uh, 16. Uh, 11. Except for that. Alright, so yeah, so you go to grapple him. He's like, oh, I've seen this before. <laughs> Knees you in the stomach, pushes you right back, and gives you this little smile like, ha, ah, two can play at that game. I don't know how a bugbear giggles. That's <laughs> <laughs> just happened. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna he's he's gonna lay he's like all right fine I guess back to fisticuffs it is he's gonna lay back into you. Uh, okay, there we go, finally a hit. Uh, that's gonna be a like twenty two to hit, so that hits, and then a ten or no sorry fourteen. Holy, f no fourteen. Fourteen does not hit. So hey, yeah, one one punch oh, in no. there. So he actually gets he gets a nice uppercut on you and actually you know actually rings your bell slightly. Uh, two points of damage. Okay. Your Dean D Beyond is on. <sighs> For Tom, but swing I know it's not supposed to be. Okay. Just making sure. I don't want people to know what I'm gonna pull out. Good lord, man. I want the viewers to be as surprised as you guys First are when I go. Hey, by the way, Black Dragon. I'm just kidding. Done. I talked to it. <laughs> I talked to 13 it. Thirteen doesn't hit. But an Eighteen done. plus five. I oh, hey, Ryan, that alive. definitely hits. I heard him go ahead. Praise be. I get to roll my little D4. <laughs> Ooh. Roll my little D4. Seven. Seven. All right. He is definitely taking some damage now. Is he staggered? Uh, no, he's not staggered, but he's definitely uh, he's de he's definitely taking a few hits. Uh, he's gonna have a black eye tomorrow at this point. Huh. All right, he's actually gonna just ru he's gonna move around you, try to get on your flank, and then land some more blows into your side. Uh, well, that's a failure. And that there we go, there we go, twenty two. Okay, finally we have some damage going down. I don't care which way the damage is going, as long as the damage is going some way. <laughs> Alright, so he is going to roll his d4, and two more damage. As he kind of just, okay. like, sidesteps around you, misses the first time, and then catches you in the kidney. Alright. Uh, as, I'm, as I'm turning and, like, to face him again, yeah. I'm going like, to do, like, a spinning back fist. Ooh, alright. his face. Ooh. The first move. Logan. Uh, 16 Logan. plus 5. That hits. And then uh, the second swing... Just for the shits and giggles. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be like an overhand, like right. a hammer fist. Alright. That's a 17 plus 4. Holy shit. All right, there you go. Game. Ah, there you go. Thank you, you, guys. Thank uh, you Mr. Dice. Ro roll, roll, <laughs> all, roll all your damage at once. Just to. Yeah. Logan? No, nope, shit. You're, Where'd that you're, one start, go? you're starting to UFC this dude. Stop it. Alright, so I don't know what happened to that one so much. Uh, 12. 12. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, yeah. Stop trying to use. So, this so you come around, whack with the backhand, grab both your fists together, slam on the top of his head. He staggers back a little bit. You see, at this point, he's kind of like rubbing his eyes a little bit, like, oh shoot! Like you can tell, like his brain's not quite. His brain's <laughs> rattled a little bit at this point. Um, he's he's still kicking, but you've definitely knocked okay. the absolute hell out of this poor guy. Uh, he's okay. going to rush you and try to go at you again. Uh, that's going to be a nineteen. And followed by a, oh yeah, that's no, 25, something like that. 19 plus 6, I can't do math. Never do math on a video, yeah. kids. All right. It's more than uh, 15, never do so. math. All right, 7 damage. 7 damage right back at you as he comes in and kidney punch, kidney punch, kidney punch. Oh, he hit both of them? Oh. Yeah, he, yeah, he hit both of them. I can finally roll. Logan's gonna be sustaining some serious kidney damage. No, both of you, both of you are gonna be like dragged into this pit, freaking kicking and screaming at this point. 
But uh, anyways, I Logan, go ahead. Back to you. And they both pass out. <laughs> you you trade. I guess I have the. Okay, I guess first I have one, the first one definitely drag miss, a yeah. giant ass. Uh, but the second one is 17 plus five. Back yeah. So, Swing yeah. away. Uh, drag I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like grab Ooh, his head. Man. Okay. Like just drive it into my knee. Ooh, there we go. I'm really fucking tall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two. Okay. Well, uh, five. Five. All right. Grab his head. <gasps> Crack as the sound of his nose slightly breaking against your kneecap. Um, at this point, he is barely staying conscious. He is barely hanging on. But he's still hanging on. How much HP do oh, you have? actually, I can move, right? Yeah, you can move, yeah. Okay. I mean, his like... pit's kind of so small, I don't really think it'll make a difference. But either way. I can't see what Logan's All right, you know what? I'm just kind of, kind of like, do this kind of like spin thing. <laughs> there just we go. go around him. Gotta just deke him. Yeah. Logan. Uh, how, much, uh, how much HP do you have, Logan? Four. Oh, jeez, okay. Wow, the holy crap, okay. Because he wouldn't go down. I keep doing uh, damage, that's a mess. but everything is more health than me. Uh, that's, a, that's a hit. Okay, one hit. Oh, you killed the, me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, two. Two damage, because it's only D4. Oh he, he sees you go behind him. He drives his elbow clean your sternum. You hear a <laughs> as you probably break at least a rib or two at this point. Your body's taking some hellish beatings. Uh, go on ahead, Logan. <laughs> Here, here, move. Kind of, kind of, kind of wheeze a little bit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A close at, at, at this point, the crowd is just going nuts. There is money chucking into the pit at this point. Yeah, I'm, e I'm even, even the, e even the freaking cord, even the coordinator is sitting there going like, "Wow, okay, this is this is <laughs> okay then." I'm it's just like, standing like, there wheeze. silently, like, "What the this, hell?" Like stupid grin on my face, just kind of whip like a wild haymaker at him. Uh, that's, that's a mess. Alright, uh, this, that one's not gonna hit. And then, uh, uh, fuck, plus five, did I, did I make it? Seventeen? Oh, fuck. Nope. So, whoom, whoom, two misses. He kind of readies himself, turns around at you. That's a miss and a half. Not gonna bother. And that's a double miss and a half. That's an eleven. So you're both at this point, you're both so exhausted, you're barely, th like, he's hitting you, but he's only hitting you at maybe, like, quarter strength, so it's like, uh, 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 oh gosh, why? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step back, reach my hand out, and, like, grab the top of his head, and just trying to drive my right hand into his face. Alright. Uh, 18. Alright, uh, no, sorry, no, that, that's, uh, that ties with his armor class. God damn life, why do you throw these scary ass Ryan just is okay, standing there as the barge stand here. drinking away. Alright. Uh, let's see, he's gonna- he's actually gonna step up to meet you since he doesn't have the long boy arms! Uh, that is a... what? Nope, that's 15, that ties, because it's a 9. Oh, I rolled a 9 and a 6, why couldn't I roll really them in the other order? Yeah! 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 Alright, D&D Beyond, can you roll better for me? D&D Beyond, can you roll better? Hey, I want to say this. 19. Thank 19 you, D&D Beyond. D&D D &D Beyond came through for you. Alright, that's one hit. And then the second one is... Uh, 14, so that nope, misses. That. As Wait, actually roll. no, actually no, is it 14 plus something? No, it's literally 14. Oh, it's 14, like okay. Alright, go ahead and yeah. roll for damage. Okay, I like the real die for these ones. Ah, uh, that's why I like the real die for these ones. Ah, uh, that's six. Wait, that's six? Yep. Fuck! <sighs> you're right, you're- Actually, no, Logan, how, how do you want to do this? It, he's yours, <sighs> you got it. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> great. Does he have hair? Uh, <laughs> no, this dude's bald like, as heck. Okay, I'm gonna like, grab him by the throat. Alright. <laughs> Slam my fist into his gut like four <laughs> times, and then just like kind of pick him up, and do one of those like German suplexes where I like throw him over the side of myself onto the ground. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fuck, 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 up over the back, boys, <laughs> and then in, into the ground he goes. As he hits the ground with a, poof, every all the crowd goes dead silent for a second, and then you just hear. <gasps> As they all just start my going hands up nuts, and start screaming. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe, all you see is Bugger just screeching his lungs out, just blood gushing from his freaking face, and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna die now. Is that guy dead? No, no, he's not dead. No, he's okay. he's he's he's, he's is he not like asleep right now. Oh no, you didn't knock him unconscious. No, he's just he's done. He's done. Okay, done. When I'm done, when I'm done, like screaming in joy, I'm gonna go over and uh, help him up. 
he, he happily accepts your he happily accepts your head and just kind of like pat him th with pack, th like, Holy th shit, dude. through his through his like near broken visage he's like that was a good fight thanks man I haven't had a good My fight God. like that in a long time um after that uh, you both actually are able to barely climb out of the pit at this point um neither of you needed to be like shuffled out of the pit. This I'm time. gonna help Logan out of like what the hell, man. Joe. You ain't gonna be able to help him up. He's like a <laughs> you would have If you would have fought these people because you interrupted the fight, they would have eviscerated you. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, he kept hitting him. He wouldn't die, Joe. He just wouldn't go down. <laughs> Did you learn anything from it? I learned I'm a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now to find a hood. Uh, what's it called? So, so really uh, infects me with a hood for some reason. So the uh, what's it called? The uh, the coordinator comes over, and this dude is like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was one of the best fights we've had here in a long, long time." Uh, well, oh, we you, well we were able to. Well, here's here's your pay. So here's uh, here's oh. twenty gold pieces for the fight, and then for all the uh, money people were chucking in there, here's an extra thirty on top of that. Oh shit! Pe yeah, pe there people, we go. Uh, yeah, they, that was a. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, right. feel free to come back whenever. Uh, all right, uh, on, on to the main event. As he as, oh. as, as he says that, you know, everybody, everybody all of a sudden goes very quiet. You hear them just ooh, ah, ooh, ah, as suddenly these two gentlemen come out, uh, decked in actual armor. Uh, one dude's carrying a battle axe, another dude's carrying this uh, great sword. Um, hey, Logan, can we get out of here now? No, they, I'm watching this. They both jump into. The, oh, you're gonna watch it. Oh yeah, dude. Okay. Wait, they both jump wait, into the but pit. I see guards over there. Guards? Shh. There's no guards. Shut the fuck up. Um, there's no guards at no, like a little a fight pit, Joe. If there's guards in <laughs> the fight pit, you better run. Uh, <laughs> these two guys jump into the pit, and over the next like thirty minutes, are these two just wailing on each other? Uh, eventually, the guy with the battle, uh, the great axe, eventually uh, trips the poor guy with the great sword. Dude loses grip of his sword. Dude raises his great axe above his head and plants it clean through his cl uh, plate armor into his chest. Blood just sprays out out of the arena, and everybody starts screaming their lungs out. Um, yeah, it's, right. it's 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 intense. It's 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 metal. Um, after, of course, the festivities uh, kind of come to a conclusion. Uh, you all kind of go back to. Uh, the inn that Ryan has procured for you. Uh, you get in there to learn that Ryan has only paid for his own room. He's reserved the other two, uh, but you two are paying your own fare. Okay. I'm just gonna find my room and go to bed. Alright, five silver apiece. And God, oh, leaves me with one. <laughs> sure. You're gonna have to get some change. Gotta go make some change. And right. bada bing, bada boom. Uh, you all go to sleep for the night. Hey, tonight we don't have to fight a fucking centipede because we slept in a reasonable <laughs> place. I think we should wake up early in the morning and head out. I get all my keys. Um, you can think all you want. I'm asleep. You want, Joe. I'm sleeping in. Uh, <laughs> you lazy bitch. I'm not sleeping in the fucking what's it called woods tonight. Ryan, you're you're a sorcerer, right? What? During the night, while you're sleeping. Um you are suddenly violently awoken in like the middle of the night. We'll say like about three AM. And I have a question before you continue, yeah. do I take a long rest or no? No, you will after this. Yeah, this this is just like a it was just, this is like a very short break in your sleep. Uh you wake up very violently and very suddenly, and because of your magic sensitivity, you feel this very very strong magical energy kind of just approaching the town from the lake like the direction of the lake cuz you you know where cuz like this sits the estuary where the uh river eventually maybe like maybe like half a kilometer down goes and breaks open and floods into the lake um you can sense a very strong magical presence coming from that area and it's very very evil like, you're not used to being able to just sense a magical presence just out and about. Usually, things like this would require, like, actually concentrating on finding, like, arcane energy. But this thing is so powerful I, that... I don't know to be able to distinguish it anymore, to tell anything else about it, like, what, sure. what it's yeah. doing. Yep, go ahead. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I know nothing. I just know there's an energy out there. What did you roll by chance? Um, one. Oh, uh, yeah, as far I as... I my math file, but twit fail. As, as far as you know, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a very strong energy, but you have no idea what it could be. Um, you do know one thing, though, even with a nasty fail like that, um, that it is getting closer. That's what you know. Um... How fast, how far away it is, you have no idea, but you can tell it's moving closer. Um, after that, eventually, you go back to bed because you want to get your full night's rest. And then, in the morning, uh, you all wake up, having slept for a full uh, eight hours. Happy times. Hooray. Uh, let me just move over what? to the... I tell Loden, and only Loden, what I felt in the night. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's... Something evil in the water? Evil magic, I sensed. A disturbance in the force, if you will. Uh... I mean, I don't know what the hell I would do about that, I mean... I would try. I just don't know. The... I don't know if it's able to destroy the city or not, and we should just, you know, get out of town. I mean, because, like, most of the guards in this town could, like, one hit or all three of us, probably, so... Uh... I mean... I'm making good money here, though. I mean, but then... Yosef is an idiot, and... Got right, where's the, where's the apparel here. shop? Do I hear this? Is he, like, in the hallway? Yeah, basically? no, you're, yeah, you're, you, you, you all met downstairs, yeah. um, after you Would I have up. seen one wandering all over town like I do? <sighs> oh, yeah, the, oh, yeah, you would have seen it. Yeah, you, you saw Taylor. Okay. It's, I, it's, uh, what's it's just, it's, one. it's just down the road from the, uh, one bar that you, uh, caused the crazy man to go on to, uh, you know, huh. Rage. Oh yeah, I have to go there today. Anyway, I have some business I have to take care of here still, so I can't really leave yet. I point Joe towards the tailor. Okay. Oh, j j try not to dig any more holes. Try not to be arrested, Joe. I'm not bailing you out. Don't worry, Joe. Everything's fine. There's no nothing. Will be you won't get arrested. Everything will be fine, Joe. Yes, it's like I have to have my green card to live here. Mm-hmm. I don't, and I'm a bugbear. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Ryan, what are you going to be doing today? Go find what? What kind of work? It's always the pit. Um, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> you have to throw a sorcerer to the pit. <laughs> throw the sorcerer <laughs> in the pit. <laughs> you can be up against the fucking, like, you, you, you'll be against, like, a halfling, and he'll just kick the shit out of you. Too crunchy, Logan. <laughs> you ever want to see a halfling too crunchy to crowd him? Because that's what he'll be witnessing. <laughs> I kinda I got want to, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I kinda want to see this. So, uh, Ryan, what are you, uh, where are you, where are you going exactly to find work? Um, uh, I'm to go to, uh, Lord of... I'm going to ask the inn people what kind of jobs they are. Uh, she looks at you, and, uh, after thinking about it for a moment, she's like, well... I need, like, just daily jobs I didn't do to on a, on a quick few times before I leave. The bars are always looking for help. Um, okay. other than that, uh, not really a whole lot of stuff just for a day. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> alchemist usually is asking for, uh, Willing volunteers for certain things, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else. I'm going to head to the ball and uh, see if they um, give me a day's job. Which one? There's two bars. That one load in one, the one I went to twin tag. Okay. And Joe, you're going to go to the tailor? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, <laughs> Joe, you head off to the tailor, uh, down the street from the uh, one bar that Logan's at right now. And, uh, honestly, it's one of the nicer buildings. Um, actually has some, like, nice unbroken glass windows. Um, mm -hmm. and you can just <laughs> see, and on, okay. it, on, on this particular wooden sign engraved is just, like, uh, it looks like a shirt. Or just some article of clothing. Uh -huh, I'm gonna um, check around the place for guards. Uh, as you're looking about, you see a couple guards kind of just, like, on patrol, just around. Well, what I'm thinking is, do... Does the whole entire both does both sides know about me messing from my present? You so. have no idea. Okay. So 
I don't know how I should take this now. Uh, hopefully like, like the guards are quite robbery. a distance away. Like, you can see them, but they're, like, a ways away. Like, they're a couple hundred feet down the roads. They're not, like, okay. right next to the place. So, I will enter in the store, then, as usual. Okay. Uh, you enter the store, and there's a gentleman, a, uh, a half-elf, uh, standing behind the counter. Uh, as you walk in, uh, first of all, the first thing that hits you is, you know, the smell of fabric. You know, it's the air is thick with it. Um, hmm. okay. Various different colors all over the wall. You see... Uh, just like some like a uh, spools where you can buy like actual just like just plain fabric, make your own clothing, and then there of course there are some actual like pre made stuff there. Uh, if that's your if that's okay. your lot, um, just looks at you and goes, "Hey, how how can I help you, sir?" Um, do you have any uh, like black travelers apparel? He kind of gives you this weird look of black travelers apparel. What do you have? Dark color. What do you have in mind, specifically? Hmm. More like a. I'm trying to think what it's called. Like a cowl, like, like a duster, like a hoodie, cloak. <laughs> cloak. A flipping. No, not really. A striped like a sweater. A bikini? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like the, um... Not the alien of a woman. It's kind of like one of the, um... Toga. Toga. Why do I not know what they're called? Is it called a toga? <laughs> I would love to. Give me a toga, laddie. <laughs> I want a toga, lad. Um, I think it's a... Uh, oh, that's a it, it's a tilt. It's a lot of tilt. Yes, yes, it, Jeff. It's kind of like a... It's a black trench coat. Kind of. Like a duster. A duster. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the first thing I said. <laughs> so yeah, you can. Uh, he he's like, oh yeah, absolutely. And he brings out this long, long-tailed uh, black trench coat, several pockets, buttons down the front of it. Um, d d does this fit your description, sir? Um. Yes. How much is it? Uh, this particular piece will be uh, one electrum. That's five silver. Ten silver. I thought that was ten silver. Ten yeah, silver. It's ten silver. Okay, yeah. Um. No ten. No ten silver is an electrum. Ten electrums a gold. He, he simplified it so it's easier to make change. Oh, uh, here it says. I knew it says electrum five silver. I simplified it. I'm going. For I'm using this for my fucking conversions. Well, then you're gonna be out of money, <laughs> and that's not my problem. Okay, so yeah, I'll get it. Um, do you also have maybe like a um? Black traveler's hood. Would you just like a, clo a black cloak, sir, with a hood? Actually, yeah, that would be better. Okay. He walks back and brings it out. Here you go, sir. How much? Uh, one electrum and two silver. So twelve silver. Yes, twelve silver. Okay. Twelve silver. Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. He. And and wear it. Yeah, he hands it over. And you can wear it. So you just put on the. Nice cloak, and you look spoopy. <laughs> Along with your generally black clothing, anyways. Right. So yeah, you're you're there. You go. You um. Oh, actually, a um. Do they sell uh, bigger um? <clears throat> quiver holders. Or because I hold arrows. Yeah. Uh, how... A bigger quiver. That's actually what's called. Technically speaking, the uh, the way that D and D works is a little weird. Uh, your your quiver is technically infinite. Nobody really keeps track of ammunition for the most part. Um, oh, okay. So for this particular case, it's one of those things. I'm not really gonna have you. The only time I'm gonna have you keep track of ammunition is if it's like special ammunition. Uh, any base okay. ammunition, going ahead and just ignore. Um, but if you made like fire arrows or explosive arrows, poison arrows of that kind, keep track of those. Does that mean I'm not limited on my darts? Actually. Uh, does it say you does it say like you have a limit on your darts? Well, no, not like a not, it, there's no storage limit. Like, do I need to keep track how many no, I have? No. Uh, I'll, I'll, okay. Again, unless you unless you do unless you modify them in some way, then you modify like a certain amount of them. Okay. Oh, so I have infinite hail, uh crossbow bolts then? Correct, yes. Um I'm going to ask the uh dude if he can point me to a place that makes fire arrows. Right, so, John, John, electrum is ten 
ten silver ten? Yes. yes. Ten Actually, ten is how you're doing. Yes, I'm doing yes. by tens. Ten copper to a oh, silver, ten I generally lost money since I didn't know that for a while and I brought a toad. That's oh fine. well. That's fine, you'll there's more money to be had. Uh he kinda gives you this very weird look that you're asking a tailor how to, uh, a place to make fire arrows, but he's like, Well there there is a Fletcher down the street, uh, t two streets over to your right. Uh, he might be able to help you. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on arrows. Okay. Thank I just, you. I just know clothing. Thank you for your uh, assistance. Have a good day. Y yes, of course. And he kind of gives this very weird look as you walk You guys out. ever played Animal Crossing? No. <laughs> oh, dude. It's how I imagined all of his, like, interactions with people go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> is, is it like an Animal Crossing? You're, like, the only human in town. But he <laughs> just makes these weird noises at you when they talk. <laughs> like, I feel like that's, that's how Joe sounds like to them. They're like, what the fuck? Honestly, you wouldn't be that far off. Um, anyways. So, uh... So just Joey... that's someone who deals with arrows... All right, so go on. All right, so Joe, you're gonna head off there. Logan, you head over to the bar. Mm -hmm. uh, you walk in. The, uh, the place seems to be fairly repaired up. Um, no new window. They kind of just like got rid of the window, and yeah. uh, all the stools and stuff like that, for, to the best of their abilities, have been repaired. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go find the uh, bar bartender dude and uh, offer my services because I did promise yesterday hey, that I would come in and help him out. He's like, oh, oh, well, you actually came back. I'm kind of surprised about that. Uh, sure, yeah, we, we would love some help around here. Okay. And, uh, you know, to make it worth your while, I'll pay you in booze. How about that? Oh, huzzah. That works. <laughs> All right. And he basically sets you out to kind of, you know, finish repair, finish, you know, get, doing some touch-ups to uh, the chairs and tables that got smashed up and, you know, just generally tidying the place up. Because these places are dirty. Uh, Ryan, yeah. where, where did you say you were going? I'm trying to keep track of three the people. Other part would find right. some water. Uh, you head over to the bar, and as you're there, you are... Uh, and Logan, you'd hear about this as well, since you're at the other bar. Um, you hear talk and mention about someone or something coming to the town. Um, it's not really, it, it seems like it's a big deal, like, uh, not necessarily like a parade or like a festival or anything like that, but like, people seem like anticipating something approaching the town today. Um, they start talking about like, oh, you're gonna go to the thing later, huh? Yeah, I think, I think I might, you know, I, I might if I'm not busy, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so you, you both would hear about this, uh, Joe doesn't hear about it because he's talking to Justin Taylor. Um, Ryan, you're gonna, oh, wait, that's the, I was like, why the heck? I, I, I keep forgetting my, my, my music. It, like... I just wanted to play, like, one track, but, some but like, when I add a new track, it adds to, it like, a playlist. So it kind of just, like, cycles through the playlist, and sometimes I'll be sitting here like, that doesn't sound like the right music all of a sudden. Oh, oops, I'm dumb. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, Ryan, you, you sit down there, and, um... The barkeep gives you an opportunity to kind of just do some, like, menial jobs around the place. Tell me about this person coming. I, yeah. Who is it that's coming, I asked? Oh, uh, he's like, oh, you, oh, you don't know? You must, you must be new oh, around I'm here, right? I'm, I'm fairly new to town. Just out here yesterday. Oh, oh, the emperor and his envoys are going to be crossing through our town. They're heading over to the capital, and uh, their fleet will be passing through town in about uh, about five hours. The fleet? Where is it coming from? Uh, the, it's coming from. Is it coming from the river as well? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. So, so, oh, yeah. It's, or it's is a fleet. It coming from within the lake? Like, did they come from the lake this way? Oh no! Yeah, no. He, yeah, yeah. He he said they're coming in from the lake. Yes. Right. Because technically, I, I assume the river that we came up of is big enough. Oh yeah, no. The river is the river's huge. Yeah, the river is yeah. is yeah. So he's coming from like Dom this way. Dom the way I sense the evil. Uh yes, correct. No, no. He's coming. Oh sorry, he's coming up. He's coming up from the southern part of the lake. And he's coming up into the river. He's moving up this direction. Right. But the way that I sense the, like, bad energy, magic stuff. From the lake, yes. Yeah. You sense the energy That's from important. the lake, so. Interesting. Interesting. Um, as, uh, what's it called? So he, uh, so after, after explaining that to you, he, uh, he offers you to, uh, what's it called? He's like, yeah, I could pay you a couple silver to help clean the place up, if that's good with you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good right. for me. Hey, All John. Yes, yeah, up. At night, since I have a black cloak, do I get a stealth bonus or no? 
No. Okay. <laughs> you look cooler <laughs> now, and you can pop the hood up and maybe, maybe, you know. I, I just wanted to know. <laughs> no. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so cool. Don't information to know before you spend the money. Uh, anyways. Dude. So, as, uh, so yeah, so you, so Ryan and Logan, you guys are just gonna kind of work for a few hours. Anyway, I uh, thought the, um, I thought that, like, nobody ever saw the Emperor or something, but I did, he wasn't really that well known of. Oh yeah, no, he's very well known of, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I thought last time it was even suggested that he might not even, like, exist. What? Since, like, these guys broke away because they, like, don't, like, prove it or something. No, no, oh no, no the, the, this, the, the rebellion that happened was a, uh, what's it called, it, it was a, they didn't trust the government back home to actually, you know, be able to care for them. And so they're like, hey, we're over here, there's an ocean between us, uh, we're our own thing now. I'm pretty sure that originally you said that it says he, like, what's it called? It's I'm on like, YouTube. I was like, it's on YouTube? I, I mean, if I did, I, I... Heavily. Yeah, I'll go with what you're saying now. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm That's how I always intended it to. So I don't know what I could have said yesterday to give you that idea. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of, you know, it was ruling for so long that people started to trust in whether or not he was like even like uh, could possibly still even be like alive. Type oh no 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 sorry no. What 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 I said was is that he ruled for so long that they were uh, what's it called? The people didn't the people over here they didn't trust that such an old man could lead them as effectively as a young one. The dude was ah. the dude was in in mm -hmm. for life. He was just super old, and they're like, oh this old geezer he's gonna lead us to victory. Oh yeah sure he's no we're breaking off. Yeah, I'm working here for the day. Okay. Uh, okay, so you guys are gonna work there for the day. Uh, Joe, you, uh, while they're doing that, you head out to the Fletcher. Um, again, you, you enter into the store, and there is a gentleman there. Uh, big burly dude, huge beard, and he's currently working on a, what appears to be some sort of crossbow. I have a crossbow and a bow already. Okay. For, nobody asked. He, he's currently so working on making. one. He's making one right now. <laughs> Uh, like right now, he's currently doing it. He's looking at you, Joe. He's like, staring at the him. eyes as he's okay. stringing the bow, okay. just looking deep in your <laughs> eyes, Joe. Holy hell, John, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask him what kind of arrows does he make. The kind you shoot from bows. He, 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 he looks at you after you say that. He goes, only the best kind. Okay, well, do you make... Do you, excuse me, sir. Do you make elemental arrows? Specifically fire. At this point, he stops making the crossbow, <laughs> puts it down, stands up, walks over to the counter, and goes, Are you hard? What just came out of your mouth, son? Right. Have a good day. Goodbye. No, 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 no. Come back. Come, c come, come back. Come back. What? <laughs> I'm no... Very annoyed at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm no mage, if that's what you think. I ain't no magic oh. user. I could make a fire. I could make some fire arrows for you, though. I've done it before. I could do it. I just don't know if I trust you to hold them at this point. You're making me a little nervous. Look, I've been through a lot. Clearly, I'm spare you the details for now. I didn't ask for them. <laughs> Nobody cares. So okay, you want some fire arrows? Tell me how to make them. Oh yeah. No. Fine. Secondly, thank you. Thank how many you, do you want? <laughs> um, probably about fifteen, maybe. Fifteen? What's what's the price for them? Okay, hang on. <laughs> he, he, he pulls his little calculator. Just fifteen, huh? Fifteen. Uh, one gold apiece. Ah, uh, fine. Um. Then I will just money. get five of them. Okay. Come back at the end of the day and I'll have them made for you. It's going to take me a bit. Okay, and um... Do you think you, you have any work that I could do here? For you? No. Mm -hmm. Come okay. back at the end of the day, I'll have your arrows ready. And he sits okay, back down. Okay, thank you. And he starts going back to his crossbow. And as you're leaving, you almost can feel as if he's watching every step you're taking as you're leaving. But you can't know for sure. You'll never know for right. sure. Right. So you leave. Uh, 
I'm gonna uh, go to uh, one of the bars. Okay, which one? I don't know, probably the one that uh, Logan's at, because... Okay. Uh, you walk to the bar, and uh, as you open the door, there's Logan uh, mending a chair. He's sitting there with a hammer, just kind of net. I look up, medicine. just let out a long, <laughs> deep sigh. Oh, no. And I continue to ignore him. <laughs> just keep working. All right. You see, Logan, I've been through a bunch of shit today. <laughs> And you'll be too old for the taste of Everyone looks at me like I've just flooded from stupid town. Well, you see. <laughs> Have you considered that? Maybe there's a reason. All right. Ryan, right, you're so, not here. Uh, Shut up. So, uh, so Joe, you, what are you no doing? Property. Ryan, you had to arrange for that. Anyways, uh, so Joe, what are you going to be doing here? I get a thing of ale, please. Barky looks and goes, absolutely, sir. Here you go. And he slams down the table and takes your copper. Thank you. No questions asked. Ale. For the body. <laughs> we have some drinking while talking to Logan. Okay, so yeah, Logan, you're just sitting there, like, like banging on chairs, you know, helping amend them. Meanwhile, uh, Joe's sitting there with a beer in his hand, just kind of, like, regaling you with all the things you already know about from his <sighs> life. Just gotta be like, oh, you know what? I got arrested. I got put in jail. This is bullcrap. I don't know what's going you know on what's here. what's going on in my mind? <laughs> Screeching. Like, no, like, at the beginning, it starts... And it's like my visu my like inner visual of this man, but like in a chair talking and squeaking, and then like mentally I just like put him in a cage, <laughs> and just like you just hear his like voice like kind of fade away to my mind, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm like I wonder where I can uh, get better spears here. <laughs> what do after I leave? Slams Send another me. rail. Uh... <laughs> All right, so uh, I've been thrown in jail. I've broken out of jail. Obviously, you guys are just cleaning, so uh, you, we'll say you get a, you, we'll say you get a good, you know, like four hours in. Um, people don't exactly these people already have help. They don't nearly need a whole lot. So, uh, Logan, you you've been paid an ale all day. You know, just whenever you need a drink, just go get a drink. You know, <laughs> have a good time. Uh, Ryan, you get paid your uh, you get paid your fare, and Joe just kind of sits there. Uh, it was hang on, three silver. Three silver. Yep. Nine. And then, uh, Joe, you're just kind of yeah, you're there. You're there, Joe. You're... You know, good, I, I'm gonna look at the barkeep. Do, do you know a place to buy like like good spears in this town? Pole arms. He's like, oh yeah, absolutely. The uh, what's it called? The armory is uh, two streets over towards the uh, western side of town. Okay. Okay. Unless you're looking for uh, custom stuff, then you want to go see the blacksmith. I don't think I can afford that quite yet. All right, I'm gonna go to the first place. Okay. Uh, I tell the other two I'll meet them at the. Uh, I'm in, not in we rip. Okay, I tell Joe and hope to God he's useful. <laughs> and tell him that uh, we'll meet them both at the inn we stayed on. At previous then, well, night. At this point, I assume if I don't see you at ten by the end of the day, I'm going back to the inn. Yeah, but you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I assume. Uh, Ryan, what are you gonna be doing after you're done working? After that, um, what time is it? Uh, be sitting there around maybe like three o'clock, maybe three thirty. Uh, yeah, three 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 thirty. I don't know. When is the uh, ample thing supposed to happen? Uh, they say yeah. For, from what you gathered, he's gonna be there around maybe like four o'clock, somewhere around there. So not not too far oh, off. I guess I'm gonna go and just start waiting for that. Okay. I'm I'm interested now. Okay. Uh Joe, what are you what are you up to? What time was it when I told him that I was when I asked him to make arrows? Oh, it would have been like twelve, like midday. Oh wait no, hang on, let's see, it's about three three, so two one. Yeah, yeah, about about noon. I just rolled double sevens with my D twenties. Good job. Oh, Good job. oh wow. <laughs> Good job, how Logan. long would it how... <laughs> He didn't tell me how long, he just said go back later. So I'm probably going to just hop in and see. Do something useful, make some money. That's a good point. Okay. You just want to go pop and see if your arrows are done? <laughs> yeah. Okay. For now, anyways. Uh, So we'll go do. Alright, look, we'll go do, uh, do you first. So you head over to the uh, the armor and um, 
as I've said before, you know, weapons everywhere, a, a small collection of uh, magic, potential, uh, probably magical rings, like very, uh, very small magical rings. And then there's the old woman uh, who runs the store there. Just kind of, you know. Is that the lady that he... Yes. <laughs> That's the woman. The exact same woman who uh, called the guards to come help the poor poor little boy who was... You might want to drained. apologize for your friends, perhaps. <laughs> no, I don't know him. <laughs> I was like, Logan ain't a witness. No. I have no, no she, idea who that guy she is. She doesn't. She doesn't even know that um, he knows me. Correct. Yeah, no, it's fine. No, I'm not bringing it up. Nope. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, Logan. You don't feel any soul, Logan. That that she had to deal with him for a bit. <laughs> Look, she, she, she got. Him. Him. She sent him to jail. Well, she had a good I time. Evil children, even I want to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't. She didn't really send me to the jail, but she kind of did. Anyway, say so yeah, Logan. Hello, Miss. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm interested in a couple things today. Sure. Um, interested in a uh, ring of mind shielding. Might have one of those here. Ring of mind. Ring. Of... Ooh, would she have that? Don't. Um. Uh, she does not currently carry that. Fair, fair. Like, these rings, like, uh, very basic. Maybe, like, rings of light, rings of, like, sparks. Maybe, like, a ring of protection. Maybe, like, a basic plus one protection Trying ring. to read what those would do. What's the... What's the ring of protection? Oh, that's blue, so I didn't look at it. Ooh. How much is the ring of protection? Uh, the ring of protection. Hang on a second. Uh, I think... I think that's what I'm... Yeah, plus one bonus to AC. Uh, that one's gonna be... Oh, it's a basic ring of protection. The ring of protection is going to be... A second. The ring of protection is going to be about uh, 500 gold pieces. Because there's a plus one permanent bonus to AC and saving throws. So yeah, 500 for a... What about uh, a plus one spear? Plus one spear? Oh, yeah, plus one spear. Uh, plus one, sp like a regular spear? No, like, no halberd. One kind of spear is No, I know. Like, well, you... I can't use the other shit because monk, it doesn't work for monks. Oh, okay, okay. No, that's fine. I, think. I mean, I'm proficient in spears, so that's why I picked it. Yeah, no, I don't think I can be proficient in halberds. I do not believe so. Because it no. wouldn't let me pick it, so I don't think I am. Uh, 50 gold pieces for a plus one spear. Can I try to haggle? Yeah. Awesome. What do I roll for that? Uh, For haggling... Uh, Give me a second. Sorry, let me look at all the... Oh, oh, oh. Huh. I mean, it's probably going to be a persuasion, I'd have to say. Let me just double-check the skills, because I... Yeah, I'd say persuasion. Well, I'm the DM, so shut up! It does it. Uh, for this particular... Let's see, you're trying to haggle a price. Um, I mean, if you're just trying to just straight haggle, yeah, go persuasion. Unless um, you're trying to, you know... Yeah, I was like, yeah, you, I was like, you could like try to like intimidate or something like that, but like just no, I'm not gonna intimidate. I was like, woman. but no, if you're trying just, to get a better price, to, yeah. Go, yeah, go persuasion then. Go persuasion. Uh, hey, John, seventeen minus one, sixteen. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, my big dumb. She, 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 she. After a few minutes of thinking about, like, I probably could part for for about thirty. I could do thirty. Good deal. Okay. All right. Plus one spear. Dude, hey, just a straight plus one to hit on top of all your other bonuses. There you go. Ah, uh, yes, Joe's up. Yeah, it's plus one. With um, take off that one. With uh, D and D beyond. Um, I have my leather armor on. Does it automatically put that into my AC? Yes. Okay. As long as you're wearing it. As long as you're yeah. wearing it. If you're not wearing it, um, yeah. If you're not wearing it, then you're currently running around book nude, my man. Free well, as a bird. Tivies, at least. Nope, buck naked, man. Commando oh. for the win. 
What the fuck, John? Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, yes, you are currently yeah, wearing your leather armor. Kind of but John, I have my clothes. Is there like? Well, now you're not. <laughs> is there like things you wear that boost like an arm strike in this game? Uh, I mean, there are there are certain things that would allow like a higher. Str I mean, there's things that they like, give you more strength, but not not really in the th way that you're thinking now. Okay. As, as far as I know, no. At least it wouldn't be anything. All right, common. then I'm I'm done there. Uh, okay. Thank her and leave. Sure. All right. Um, uh, so now we're gonna go to Joe. Joe, you head back to the Fletcher, and uh, you know, since you give him a couple hours, he in fact has your your arrows arrows ready. So he asks for your okay. five gold. Okay, I'll give it to him. Okay. So you now have five fire arrows. Give me one second to give you the stats for those, because I don't know if those are actually in the. I don't think those are actually. Uh, nope, I did not see them. Okay. okay. Oh, I have to customly make it, do I? Correct. Okay. So, what would I do for, like, description and all that? Uh, hang on. Give me one second. Yeah, why does it keep disappearing? Okay, so here's how the fire arrows work. Um, you have to light the fire arrows using a tinder box or some other, like, you have to actually have. light them. Um, and then the arrow does the normal damage plus 1d4 fire damage. Uh, plus 1d4 yep. fire damage. Yep. And then it will continue to do one fire damage every turn until Close. the person takes an action or bonus action to remove it. So, does one yeah. what, one one damage every turn. I've... Until when? Uh, until they, like, put it uh, out. Until they put it out, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, Joe, um, make, a, make a note just for yourself. You don't necessarily have to write this down. Um... You cannot fire these weapons from stealth. You yeah. will immediately be spotted if you fire one of these things off. I mean, you just lit a fire. Yeah, it, it, actually, <laughs> it specifically says here, one of the disadvantages of using fire arrows is that you lose any advantage when attempting a surprise attack with it due to its clear visibility, even at night. So you can never get a surprise strike on somebody with fire arrows. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. You are lighting a fire. What if the guy's blinded? Um, that would probably be the only exception is if your target is physically blind and cannot see the actual flames, but that'd be very situational. That'd be a very situational, like, okay, surprise. Um, round. Okay. what would I do for my black cloak that I bought? Just it's, asking. It, it's a black cloak. You have a black cloak. Black what cloak. I, le I legit just ha have the notes as apparel and then a normal black traveler's cloak that's it there you yeah go. congratulations you did it you did, okay. black cloak. Black cloak. did you enchant um, it yet no you haven't you haven't spent like a thousand gold to enchant it so it's, it's okay it's, i forgot i was cloak. wearing robes so i was fighting in like bulky ass robes in the middle of the pit <laughs> <laughs> um i would ask him for ask the person yep the fletcher for tips uh how to actually make some money he says, "You're gonna ask." He, he no, no, he looks at you and says, "Learn a trade." <laughs> he, does. he says, "Learn a trade, boy," and then goes back to making another crossbow. You hear, like in the like small distant corner of your mind, "Learn how to fish." <laughs> Learn how to fish. <laughs> um, Just talking with my and conscience. Joe, Do you remember last um, time when I tried fishing? Joe, as I'm you're uh, as you're standing there, and uh, Logan, where 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 were you right now? I was literally like at the, you, or the that like weapon shop. Yeah, you're at the weapon shop. I, I hadn't gone anywhere yet. No, no. Um, Ryan, you're already like ready for this, but Logan and uh, what's it called Joe, you two start to hear a lot of commotion outside. Like a lot of people, like, well, some running, some walking, a lot of people just talking. And you see, as you look out the uh, you know windows of the stores, you see a lot of people moving towards the center of town, like several dozen. <laughs> So the Fletcher, what's going on? Uh, the Fletcher looks up and goes, "Oh, 
Oh, yeah, the Emperor's coming to town. He goes what back Emperor? Because his... him if he was the, the moment you the, the, the moment the moment you say what Emperor, <laughs> the dude just stops <laughs> as he did before, slowly puts his crossbow <laughs> down, stands up, walks to the counter, looks at you, and just goes, Hey, buddy. <laughs> just blown from Look, stupid I, town. <laughs> yes, I did blow from stupid it's town. Be the Good. Episode. Go back. Get out of my store. <laughs> Goodbye and screw off. <laughs> I look around and go, huh, well, that looks interesting. I guess I'm going to go see what that is. <laughs> kind right. of follow the crowd do it. Okay. So you all follow the crowd. As, as you're going to the center town, you actually can see Ryan. I mean, it's not a huge square. You can clearly see. I have my head board. just in case while following the crowd. Um, as you guys are all oh, standing there, be a for the oh, good lord! <laughs> um, as you're all standing there, you oh. can, you kind of get this weird sight because the river goes down the center of town. You see a bunch of like very ritzy upper crust people on one side of the river, and then you have like the more like rough and tumble like middle and lower class people right here, kind of like eyeing each other down over the river. Um, after a few minutes, you see the guards uh, go over to like the bridge. Uh, you see him pull a lever. Uh, large plumes of steam pour out from the sides of the bridges as they begin to raise up. These are drawbridges. Um, the entire canal is eventually cleared. And as you're standing there, you see um, several... What well, you would garner to be warships uh, begin to flow single file down this channel. Um, um, yeah, what's up, Joe? Uh, why... Why is there giant battleships? This is kind of putting me on edge. Jojo, jo, you're fine. Um, the, the first couple come through, and they're all looking pretty uniform. And then the fifth one specifically in line, you see a ship that is adorned with about double the firepower of the rest of them. Um, it has an ornate golden oh, figurehead on the front on the front of it. Um, the entire sides of it are actually uh, you can see are coated in a blue, uh, purple paint. And standing uh, up with the captain up at the t up at the helm of the ship, you see two individuals. Uh, one of them is a a man. He's wearing these long regal robes, a a red uh, red undershirt down the center of it, and then the entire cloak around him is like a bright purple. Um, an older gentleman, maybe in his like maybe like 65, 70 years old. Um, you can tell he's old because like he doesn't he doesn't have the air of youth about him, um, but he's definitely not like a crippled old man. He's like some like haggard old you know <laughs> raisin of a man. Like you, you can definitely tell he has life left in him. And uh, around his neck, you see this very large golden medallion with a huge red gem in the center of it. Um, and he's just you, 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 see, it. you see him there you see him waving to the crowd you see him you know this big smile on his face you oh. kind of making Good a show of that, it not, not uh, to interrupt you how, no, how close is joe close to me yeah no joe's right next to you great uh you hear this sound for <laughs> 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 saying those words i don't care if it's damage the point got across that's great. fair <laughs> anyway you, you um, know, and, yeah. <laughs> and then standing right next to him is a is a gentleman um who stands he he has long black hair a fairly well kept beard imagine black beard from siege that kind of beard um <laughs> nice. you've already lost track with me he, he is wearing a jet black cape with a suit of armor on that if i could describe it in words would have to be uh absorbs all light around it. It is if you are staring that. into the pure black abyss of space itself and the emptiness of the abyss. Um around his uh, around his uh what's it called? Around his armor, you see these like uh what's it called? runes etched into it in a dark it red like script. Vampire armor. And he stands there with his hands behind his back, just motionless. Like, the one guy who you could probably tell is the Emperor at this point, you know, he has the regal robes. I mean, he's, he's making a spectacle of it. He's, you know, he's showing off, and you see him just kind of, you know, you know, waving to everybody. He's got a big smile on his face. This dude is just deadpan serious. He, he has his eyes darting from left to right. You see his head basically not how, moving whatsoever. How clearly can I see the wounds, by the way? 
the runes. Uh, you can tell they're runes just because, like, a red band would have, like, a pretty distinct, like, you could tell if it was a red band. Um, I say they're runes because it's some kind of script, and it's nothing that you can necessarily read at a distance. Um, there are a couple runes that are bigger. Uh, on the shoulder plate specifically, there's, like, one large rune kind of dotted in the center. Then on his chest plate, there's one, like, dead center of it. Um, and though and you can definitely tell like, they are runic of some nature or some sort of, like, Sanskrit-type language. Um, can I check to see what language it is? You can barely... Uh, give me a perception check to see if you can actually, like, make out, like, specific, like, lines and shapes enough to decipher what um, language... 16. Uh, 16? Um, well, you know it ain't common... And your best guess is that it would either be, it's not a language you see very often. You don't know exactly what it is, but you can definitely tell it's a language that's very uncommonly spoken. It's not something you see very often. I'd probably tell Logan that. Okay. Um, and and uh, whatever it is, Joe, you don't know it. Well, actually, what, what language do you know, Joe? Um, I know... Actually, maybe you do know it. Hang on. Common, Elvish, Hack... Halfling and thieves can't. Nope, none of it. Okay. Uh, uh, as the emperor is passing. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start a chant. Okay. Gonna, like raise my arm and with my wonderful billowing voice to start yelling all hell the emperor. Try to get people to you know just try to hide the crowd up. Cease. Give a performance check. <laughs> Floating ball. Oh, Jesus. Performance <laughs> check, know. Logan. I put a lot of joy in this as I hear what you are. Advantage in it. I'm all right, just, Logan. Oh my if it, God, yes. I'm what? just gonna sit down. Roll with advantage, Logan. What is it? Wait, I get to roll with advantage. Roll with advantage. Ryan's gonna help you. All right. Well, the only advantage I need is if it's a nat twenty. So I mean, fuck it. All right. No, nope. Nineteen minus one. Uh, eighteen. Okay. Um, with with some effort, it takes it takes me about maybe like a minute and a half. Um, but you eventually start, you know, you start the chant, everybody starts, you know, screaming, "Long live the emperor!" You see people like getting really hyped up and. Um, the Emperor seems kind of taken aback at first, but he eventually, like, really is like, wow, okay, okay wow, well, he's not used <laughs> to this kind of crowd, but all right, let's, let's do this. Um, I'm just sitting here curled up, just crying, like, what the hell is going on? And Ryan, <laughs> um, at this point, now that he's, now that they're, like, starting to come through the town, like, at first, when you, like, when you first were making these observations, they were, like, just entering through, like, the main, like, I guess, floodgates. Um, and they're going pretty slow, you know, they don't want to, like, veer off course, they're, like, very slowly coming through town. Um, at this point, and for a little bit a longer of a while, you can definitely feel that dark energy, that super, super strong energy. It is, like, right on top of you. I mean, it is right on top of you. It's actually, at this point, Ryan, to you, it's almost oppressive. Um... It's almost a what? I'm sorry, you turned sorry. out at that moment. Uh, it's almost oppressive. As if it's like weighing down on you, the amount of power you're feeling right now. Oof. Mostly because you're a sorcerer. So, like, your magic in your blood. Um, that's how sorcerers are. They're just innately magical. So, yep. this is like Which really... Which too, right? Or nope. no, because I'm down the nope. ground. you're not magical. Nope. None no. of you don't have any... No, not, not like theory. oppressing, but you said Logan can... It. Nope, Logan can't what? feel a thing. No, I can't. I'm the idiot oh. screaming all hair of the Emperor. I don't know what the hell is going on. You know, I'm not screaming you, Logan. I'm yeah, I'll say. <laughs> nope. Okay, <laughs> carry on. Am I still able to change that, or am I not able to just be, like, talk about Oh, you know, no, it's it's just, it, it's... Oh, no, oh. You, you, you can continue on as if as if everything's fine. It's just you, you can't ignore it. Ah. It, it's like a song stuck in your head that you just can't get out of your head, like, no matter how much you try to scream and yell and distract yourself. I mean, it's like uranium fever. It's Constantly like your... Yes, Ryan, you hear uranium fever playing in your head. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> uranium fever. Um, and, yeah, they're they're just going through town. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to the center of town. Everybody seems... You know, they seem happy. They seem very happy to see them. Obviously, you're wait, kind of hyping the crowd up. What? Wait, I'm going to check for guards around. There's a lot. Like everywhere. Joe, Joe, the Emperor, right, and right in front of you. And fair point. Oh God. <laughs> Suddenly, the Emperor comes down and goes, "Why, oh, hello, Joe!" And then he stabs you. <laughs> no, well, it's, I'm. Oh my gosh. Very paranoid. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, and eventually, you know, they uh they go through. Um, anyone else want to do anything while the Emperor's or while the train of things are coming? 
I mean, eh. are, uh, is like everybody there? Like even the people in the stores? Even my um, mom. I mean, you can imagine that this is a lot of people. It's probably not the entire city. I mean, obviously some people probably are like, okay, the Emperor's here. Maybe they've seen the Emperor before. Um, you can tell by by the fact that people knew this was happening that he makes public appearances fairly often. Like, he's not like a recluse. So people probably have seen him before. Um, you know. So, I mean, it's not it's not a super uncommon thing, but you can imagine it's still a special occasion, you know. Um, um, I'd ask Logan if there's, like, any other... Hmm. Wait, I, I had this in my mind earlier. I just squint down at him as he fumbles to make words. Oh. I'm just, like, waiting. <laughs> I haven't broke eye contact. Yet. Oh, I live the <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's all you hear in the background is I'm just... Some dude's, like, <laughs> rending his shirt, just screaming at the top of his lungs. Just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to rapidly get bored of waiting for um, Joe to speak. <laughs> <Her> dude, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, this happens in real life. Fair. <laughs> Welcome to D&D. &D. I, I just shut up and stand there. Okay. Um, the boats eventually, you know, they go past. Um, you know, eventually the festivities die down. Maybe a dozen ships go past and they go down the river towards wherever the heck they're going. Uh, the gates closed. The bridges are lowered. They're connected. Guards go back to their positions. And people just kind of seem to go back to their, uh, you know, back to their lives, you know. Right, I'm going to stay out of the way of things. What time is it? In real life or in the game? No, well, I know what time it is in real life, John. I have a clock. Well, I don't know. But I, in the game. Oh, right now. I mean, the parade would last a little, a little while. So, I mean, it was probably about maybe five. Hmm. Maybe a little bit before five, honestly. I'm going to go just stop at any random shop on the way to the pits. Just Look, eat I'm some food. Are they you? Yeah. Yeah, we're all here. Ah, well, so I tell them that I'm pretty sure that Somebody on, uh, within that parade was, uh, evil! Or, really? You know, something along those lines. Evil magic is what I felt, right? Uh, yes. Yes, you felt, a, like, a very dark evil presence and an oppressive magic. Not, not that I particularly kill. Oh, wait. That... Well. But, uh, you know, that's just I mean... it. It's kind of out of my jurisdiction, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think that we didn't stop that or do anything about it. At I mean, I, all I hope is it's not the Emperor, uh, I guess. Anyway, more, more importantly, to what we're actually doing, how long do you want to stay in this town? I've been having fun making money. Uh, Girl, the other one just keeps causing trouble, so I, I mean, we're going to have to leave eventually here, uh, but... Uh, eventually, I don't want to stay in here forever. Uh, in no, but... Is there like a bay about? shop here? A bait shop? Where would like to go? I don't know. You, you people were looking for adventure. I mean... Yes. Where would you want to adventure to? That says this is like living your pat yard. <laughs> I'm going to go to the tavern okay. and see if I can ask somebody if there's a bait shop nearby. A bait shop? Mm -hmm. Haven't you been to this one? Uh, no. That was when no. we... um. I'm pretty sure you still before... have bait show. No. For specific reasons. Okay. Um... um Okay, but that was the bait shop before we left our hometown. Correct. Yeah, that was the bait shop in your in your uh, in your uh, hometown. Uh, anyways, so yeah, so Joe's gonna go there. Uh, Ryan and Logan, what are you guys doing? Well, Logan, you're gonna go back to the pit, right? Oh, or, what uh... can I do for money? That's is there any tambling going on? Most likely. Right, I'm trying to tell, find a place <laughs> that has tambling. Okay. I'll tell for a bit. All right, that works. Uh, Logan, and you're, you're, are you going to head to the bar first and then the pit, or...? Like, you know, walk by a stand if they've got, like, fucking apples or something. I don't care. Just sure, grab okay. a quick bite to eat and then move along with life. All right, uh... I'll spend, I'll spend like, two copper on whatever the fuck I eat. I was just about to be like, I should chuck a couple copper at it. You'll get yourself a, a nice bite to eat. Uh, Ryan and Joe, you guys will go to the same place just, you know, looking for, you know, gambling and just a bait shop. Uh, Joe, you're told that there are about seven bait shops and fishing emporiums because this is a river town. Uh, they're all just kind of like dotted along the river, like up near the, like abutted up against the river. Um, okay, I'll just go to one of them. Okay. I don't really know. Uh, Ryan, so. you're told that uh, when it comes to gambling in this particular uh, you know, town, 
there are there are basically two main places you go to really gamble if you want to actually like, make some decent money. Um, one would be at the uh, the tavern that Logan has frequented a few times. Um, every so often well, they'll. Uh, when you say decent money. I'm not exactly you know walling with money, so I did high end gamble. No, no. I, I mean when they when they say actually make some money, I mean they mean like actually make like gold pieces. Ah. Um, obviously, you know, these aren't like tens of, these aren't like hundreds of thousands of gold pieces being thrown out of the table by super high power. <laughs> this is like, it's like, do you want to like stay at home and like, you know, invite some people over, maybe spend like a couple silver on a game, or do you want to make like, maybe like, you know, five, 10, or maybe even a hundred gold. You never know. Depends on how much you want to wager. Um, so the one place is, uh, there's, uh, there's a back room of the tavern that opens at around 10 PM. Uh, the one that Logan frequented a few times. Uh, they said that there's a like a like a kind of like a CD mini casino back there, you know, blackjack, poker, that kind of thing. And then the other place uh, is actually the pit, the pit itself. Uh, apparently, a lot of people like to go there and gamble on fights, and it's like a really I'm big going thing. To I'm going to go gamble in a fight, I guess. Okay. Well, I'll be Tom Logan. <laughs> That's where Logan. Uh, I don't know you're gambling on me. I'm, I'm making my way downtown. <laughs> Walking <laughs> fast. Making my way downtown. <laughs> All right, so uh, you two head off. You two. Mason, by the way. The what, Ryan? Who who have I asked for this? I have way I've thanked them for the information. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's kind understood. of understood. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, Joe, let's go with you first. So you head off to one of the bait shops. Uh, you walk in there, and there is a there's a salty seafaring captain. You know, just standing behind there. Kind of looks like Willie almost. And um, you know, he's I don't know just who Willie is. It's okay, Ryan oh, does. Oh wait, Willie the Ryan knows who Willie is. Anyways, I'm um, Willie the fisherman. So uh, what's it called? So uh, he uh, he he looks at you and is like, "Hey, uh, what can I do for you?" Is there anything I can help for to make uh, some money? You wanna make some money? Mhm. Mm uh. Hey guys, when I close my eyes this hard, <laughs> is it supposed to get fuzzy? No, Logan, keep closing them harder. Uh, but, well, I but mean, you guys just normally ask, and they're like, "Oh, okay, I, let me find something to do for you." Well, I ask, and it's like you're the well, most why retarded you, person in this planet. Go die in a six foot hole. You don't what, deserve to live. Why did you go to a bait shop to ask that? You could ask the tavern guy. That's what I did. Um. <laughs> well, the the bait shop guy looks at him and goes, "Well, uh, I don't know. Are, are you good at fishing? I mean, fishing's kind of my life. I mean, can you fish? Somewhat, yeah." Hear this distant. Okay. Uh, well, it's it's, it's a no. bit it's a bit late right now, but if you if you come back tomorrow, I, I guess I could maybe take you on for the day if you if you if, you, if you're decent, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here bright and early. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, okay. Go jump off the bridge. Okay. Uh, so, Joe, I got a question for you. Uh, Okay, when, when you go to jump off the bridge, you can do acrobatics, you can do athletics, maybe do, like, a performance check if you want to, like, you know, really, like, you know, maybe do, like, a, like a, like a little Irish um, they, they both give me, they both give me plus four, so acrobatics later. Ah, okay, Joe, go ahead. It's a 20. A ah, flip. good, yes. It's a 20. Bye. I got 16 plus oh, four, it's a 20. It. Joe goes down the river. <laughs> Joe no one cares. Joe water to find fish. All right, so, uh, Logan. So, lo uh, Joe. So oh, I'm going to walk back uh, up and just hi. go to the end. You're going back to the end, Joe? Yeah. Okay. Wow, uh, way to support me. Logan and Ryan, you two are going off to the Fine, pit. Fine, I'll go to the freaking pit and watch you again with the bloodshed. The, the bloodshed, oh my god, the bloodshed. Okay, all three of you going to the pit now. Huzzah. All right, you all, you, you, all, you all head off into the pit. And Ryan, since this, this is your first time seeing it, you're kind of, you know, you see this violent blood smeared pit of just a lot of screaming people. A lot of screaming people. Um, the, uh, the coordinator looks over at you, Logan, goes, oh, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I take it you're here for another bout, huh? Hoping for another. Yes. Hoping for another good one tonight. Um, I try. Okay, well, you know, you know, since, since you were a new guy, you know, you know, we don't usually give the new guys the pick of the lot. So uh, here we gotta, we, we we have so we have a couple we have a couple guys who uh, who we have lined up tonight. Some some newer blood. We figured that you could you know give, maybe give them a good rough housing. Um, okay. So oh, we got kitty. we got a couple guys here. We have a gentleman here, a human, 
who is I mean he looks yeah, he he's he looks about as average as you can get. He looks like he's just he just wants to fight. Um, don't really know if he's gonna last very long. Um, the next guy, however, is another orcish gentleman who he looks very similar to the guy you fought before, except he might actually look a bit beefier, honestly. Um. Yeah, he, he, he's more of a, uh, what's it called? He's more of like a, oh yeah, no, this dude this dude's fought a few times and he's definitely won a few times. Um, and the guy basically says like, well, you know, we got this really new guy and then we have this other guy who, well, he's Hello? he's new, but he doesn't out. seem new. What? Sorry. Yeah. What? Stupid Discord. Why are you doing this to me, Discord? I don't know why Discord wants to throw a fit when we do this. I have no idea. I, I got it all the way up to like, this guy looks like... And then it oh, no. <laughs> so basically, oh basically, you have a choice of two people. You have one guy who's significantly less, who who's significantly weaker looking. He doesn't really look mm -hmm. like he might put up much yeah. of a fight. He 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 go get hurt. Um, the other guy, however, looks like he'd be actually quite the challenge. Uh, and the uh, the coordinator looks at you and basically goes, "All right, well, look, uh, we had the one guy. He's probably not going to be much. Um, the payout's going to be a lot less than your last fight, obviously. Uh, you want to take on this other guy though." I think I'm gonna be able to throw some more coin your way if you think you can beat him. Hmm. You know what? Whatever. Fuck it. Not like I'm gonna die. I'll fight the beefier guy. Okay. All right. You no, know, I I just feel like it would be kind of pointless for me to just fight, beat up on some poor human. At least have somebody that can fight me. <laughs> That's fair. All right. Uh. Let me just make sure. Okay. All right. I'm going to talk to you about phone to bats. <laughs> <laughs> you could, Ryan. I mean, either way, I'm not sure who's going to win, Ryan. You, so. you, you could, uh, you could take, uh, you could take rule over time. And be like, hey, buddy, you want to throw the match? Buddy, I'm going to put your toe down, you buddy. <laughs> you're going to fight real well, and then you're going to. Take a nice fist to the jaw! <laughs> well, then, wouldn't you lose your money? No, no, I'm better than the other guy, buddy. Oh, well, you're gonna lose. And then I just walk away and go to, like, meet my opponent. Oh, you don't want to fucking, uh, make that to Troy, I'm fine. Fuck you. Alright, do you wanna, do you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna fight the stronger opponent? Yeah. Like, he's clearly yeah. stronger than the last guy, so just, just letting you know. I. Okay. I just, I just, it doesn't feel right to hey, beat John, up on some weak little bastard. This. Uh, sure, Joe. What do you? What, how much you want to put down? Um, probably about uh, ten electrum. Okay. So gold. On who? Put down a gold on who? Logan or his opponent? Um, probably Logan. Uh, okay. So you're gonna That's put down. Assumption so, there. so you're putting down a gold <laughs> on Logan. Uh, Ryan, who you put? Who 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 put money down on? Or how much? Uh, Logan's gonna. I'm petting on Logan versus the other guy. Yeah, Logan versus this really huge, another huge orcish dude who looks, who just looks metal. I want two gold on the orc. Two gold on the orc. All right. Two gold on the orc. He says. All right. Let's get the uh, let's get the music playing because I think the music player actually crashed. I you. You barely beat the last one. Uh, okay. So. Uh, let's see here. Uh, would have made millions if you just threw it. Would have made millions if you just threw it. Now, Ryan. I'm Ryan gonna buddy. cry. Ryan, buddy. Look, millions of chop, okay? Fair. I need money. Alright. I'll just battle music. Alright, boys. Let's uh, go down to the pit. Logan, when you're ready, roll initiative. Ah, okay. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Come on, purple one. Ah, uh, 20. Haha, <laughs> yeah, not even close. You go first. Great. These guys don't exactly have a lot of dexterity. Oh, they tough, though. They're definitely tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
run up and then like shift to his to like the side of him. Mm -hmm. and, uh, throw a punch. Sixteen. Uh, twenty-one. Oh, oh, yeah, that hits. Yeah, that hits. All right. <coughs> I love rolling these things. Uh, five. Uh, hang on a second. Five damage. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm uh, I'm gonna swing again. Yep. Eighteen. That hits. Okay. That's another D4. Ooh, that's better. Three. Uh, six. Six points of damage. All right. Yep. Sub ten damage. Mm -hmm. And I think I have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And then I'm gonna like take a step back. Okay. Get ready. Just do something right here. Okay. The the orc is going to take a step forward, and as this dude steps forward, you can kind of like feel the impact of his feel. This dude is thick. As he goes on ahead, he's going to roll, he's going to roll his two attacks against you. Uh, that is going to be a 12, which misses. Yep. And then a 16. Or no, Just sorry. No, I'm sorry. 17, either way. Oh, cool. Well, yeah. All right. Then he's going to come in, he's going to give you a nice walloping. Oh, that's four damage. Okay. So it comes in whack in retaliation for your. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna book it around him again. All right. Nibble little bastard. Okay, let's get around his back because he's facing me this way, right? Yep. Yeah. Because he's smoking for me, so I'm gonna get around his back. Mm -hmm. Swing at the back. Uh, try to elbow him in the back of the head. All right. Seventeen? Uh, that does hit, yeah. Oh, okay. And then I'll just roll for the other one, too. Oh, wow, seventeen again. Holy shit. Yep, okay. that hits. Alright, I'll just roll for both of these. No! No! Dice, come back! Shit. Okay, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. Uh, twelve. Twelve points of damage, alright. So... Whack, right in the back of the head with the elbow. You see him kind of like lurch forward a little bit, and then you see his neck kind of straighten as he just turns around and just faces you. Uh, one thing you're noticing about this guy is that this dude's definitely a lot easier to hit, um, but your punches just don't seem to be doing as much to this guy as the other guy. This definitely, this dude has a bit more constitution to him than the other guy. Um, he is actually going to, uh, yeah, what he's going to do is he's going to suddenly. This huge grin comes across his face, and he's gonna grab your head and attempt to slam his forehead into you. Uh, yep, that hits with the first attack, and then he's gonna come up with a knee to the chest. Uh, that is a 15, I believe that misses, because that's your AC, yeah, right? Yeah, that misses. Okay, so he's gonna get he's gonna get the head cracker off. Uh, uh, two points of damage. forward again and just be like, oh, okay, is this how it's gonna be? And, <laughs> and uh, just punch, just go to punch him square in the face. Oh, nice. Uh, 18 plus 5. Yep, that is. So, yeah. So I'll do this attack first. Uh, what the fuck was the bonus? 3, 4. Okay, so that's 4 damage. And then I'm gonna spend a key point to do flurry of blows, which is 2 more attacks. Alright. Uh, 15, uh, 20. Okay. And then, yeah, that's like six, so that's not, nope. Alright, so one of these hits. I'm gonna do. Hey. Uh, that's six damage. Six and damage? And then I'm gonna do, uh, You're good, honey. open hand technique to, uh, make him fall prone. Uh, so he has to make a deck saving throw. He has to beat a 12. Just make sure this guy's not immune to it. I don't think he is. Oh, yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Okay, so what was it, Logan? Uh, he has to beat a 12 dexterity. 12 dexterity? Oh. When he uh, said... No, he fails. He fails. Alright, so When you say prone. he has to beat the throw, does he have to match it, or does he have to get above it? 
Nope, sorry. That's, that's me. I was like, oh no, help me, I've fallen. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, what's up, Joe? Hello? Um, if you have to beat the number, do you have to match it or get above it? Uh, if it's a, if you have to, if it's a saving throw, you gotta match it or beat it. Because you're the defender. Okay. De defender always wins a D&D. &D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's going to, after you nail him, he's going to get back up. Um, he's going to stare you down. And right before he prepares to attack you, you suddenly see him scream to the sky something in orcish. You uh, see his... Ah uh, yes. Uh, you you hear him say something along the lines of, "May the orcish war gods bless me in my violent crusade." As suddenly you see his muscles grow and pulse with energy as he makes two attacks against you. I'm crying. What did uh, that do say? That's gonna hit. I don't know you. I don't know you. He suddenly takes what both of his fists takes one fist, slams it into your rib cage. The other one, he draws an elbow right across your head uh, for a total amount of damage of... Uh, hang on, I need to do math now. Uh, let me try this now. Um, what's my... What's my thing? Math than I've ever had to do. Ten points of damage. As this dude just starts tearing into you like nobody's okay. business. Okay, you're not starting to look so good. You're like uh, six right. damage, buddy, or six health, buddy. I expected this. Like this, so that's fine. Um. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna wait to die, I guess. So. I'm just gonna swing twice and. Death. Okay. Uh, 10. That doesn't fucking hit. 10 does not hit, nope. 18 plus 5 hits. Thrilling. Yep. 5. 5? Alright, yeah. 10 points of damage. Uh, he's definitely, just, he's definitely hurting. Okay. He's going to, again, charge at you and swing. Uh, that's a yeah, miss. GG. And that's another miss. Because that's another 15. All right, he, he misses. Whoa. Okay. okay. Um, swing at him, I guess. Your D and D Beyond, you do it for me. D and D Beyond does it. Uh, sixteen. Uh, sixteen does not hit. Okay. Key point. Flurry blows. Okay. Let's pretend this will do something. Oh uh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. One's a fucking fourteen. So. Uh, seven damage, and then I'll try to knock a prone again. Even though it doesn't matter. Okay. So he has to beat uh, DC twelve for dexterity. DC twelve. Okay. He fails, and is knocked okay. prone. Oh, uh, when he falls prone. Yep. And like, is that 15? Yep. Is that like, okay. So I'm gonna back up like 15 feet away. Oh, 15 feet away. Yo, side. This is 15 feet. All right, it's five, so 10, 15. My range. I think it's 10, it's right? 10. Yeah. So I'll go right uh, here. Okay. As you punch him clean in the chest. He kind of like staggers back. You hit him again and it knocks him down to the floor. You step back through 10 feet and you're standing there waiting for him to get back up. He doesn't get up. He actually lies there motionless. Uh. Not moving. So he just does nothing? After several minutes of just sitting there, everybody's incredibly confused. He's not moving. In fact, actually, as far as you can tell, he's. Not even breathing. Hogan? Alright. 
You know what? I'm gonna wake him up. <laughs> Wait, he's not even breathing though. Does that mean he's dead? Doesn't look like he is. He's probably not dead. He's probably faking it, so I'll come in and he can surprise attack me. But you see, unlike unlucky for him, I'm out of his range and I can keep slapping him. So, All right. so, what do you so do? I'm gonna I'm gonna swing twice. Okay. Ten feet away. Roll the advantage. Oh shit, okay. He's on he's right, well, probably that, that, that one's a seventeen plus five. Yep. So that yeah. one hits. Yep. And then uh oh that's a nineteen plus five, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So that's two hits. Uh that's eight. Yeah, eight. Okay. Eight damage in total? Yeah, oh, yeah that's in right. Total. Okay. Uh yeah, you you lay into him, you you hit him twice, and he doesn't move. It's like you're punching like a piece of meat. Um, at this point, I raised my hand for like the the person that yeah. runs it. No, no, he's like, he's actually already jumping down there. Uh, yeah, I'm like he, him and a couple and uh, followed by at least a couple of the guys. They run they run down to the pit, and they they check the guy over, and after at least maybe like a minute in the pit, um, you see the uh administ you see that the administrator guy he starts like motioning like no come on down come on down here and they lower down like a uh, they lower down a stretcher and they literally just put this guy in a stretch and they haul him out of the pit and they just take him off um the guy goes over to you and goes uh look i i, I know you didn't mean to uh we we're not exactly Holy sure shit. what happened uh here and he hands you five gold pieces he's like hey that, that was a good effort uh you, you got a little something in your face so you really might you might want to get that patched up man um yeah, uh, have a good night. We got we're gonna so, something weird happen. We we gotta we gotta we gotta shut down the pit tonight. And so he starts waving people off. Um, all bets are returned to the people that place them. Um, nobody's money has been taken. So Ryan, you can keep your money. Joe, you can keep their uh, your money. And right. the pit is now being well emptied, I guess in a way. Oh. Well, I would actually with Logan though. Okay. Ryan, I'm just what are you gonna doing? Walk out regardless. Okay. Sorry. Ryan, are you gonna follow them or what are you doing, Ryan? Oh, I know. Okay. As um, all right. So you guys are gonna leave. Are uh, you guys going back to the uh the, like uh what's it called the uh? Yeah, I'm going to the cool. All right. Um, you guys are uh, what's it called? You eventually go back to the inn. Um, are you gonna you gonna spend one more night at the inn? I take it. Yeah. All right. So yeah. your five silver, cough it up. So Cough we'll... up your money. Yeah, it's five silver. Uh, also need food, so that's what was chapel. Uh, two copper, three copper. Depends on how much you want it. To... How good of a meal do you want, Ryan? You gotta talk, throw the extra copper in. You know, if you want that extra, extra biscuit. I don't like extra biscuits. I'll pay three copper. Okay, extra biscuits it is then. I'm probably get. No, I added that. Oops. Just something to eat too for it. Uh, then for... two or three copper. Then biscuits. I buy four Three. ale. Okay. One <laughs> copper a piece, then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's right, I'll buy an ale as well. I will, too. Kind of mull over what happened that night. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Alright. Um, you guys eat your fill, and then you all go to bed. Um, at about... Give me another one second. That sucker off, and I'll go. No, oh, stupid. As you're all lying in bed, dead of night, suddenly you're all woken up to the sound of a violent. It sounds like an earthquake. The entire building you're in just rocks as you're all like woken up you suddenly hear a bunch of commotion around downstairs and um joe your room because of its position has one window that kind of looks out to like you know the town area um the light coming through the window looks like it's daytime but it's not daytime you know it's the middle of the night because you feel like you woke up in the middle of the night and light is coming through that window as if it's morning what? Mm. Um, I'd probably go wake up Logan. Okay. Well, go to no, Logan. You're probably I'm awake. Yeah, you're, you're, no, you're, no, you're, no, you're all you're all awake. You basically got like thrown out of bed to like the sound of like violent shaking. 
I would go to Logan's room and tell him that it looks like it's morning out when it's really not. Oh shit, Sherlock, I have eyes. Well, no, the Logan, your room doesn't have a window. Joe's is the only one that has a window out to, like, the square where the light would be coming in. Oh. I did not know this. Okay. That's uh, why I clarified. Let's say stop bullying. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. No, seriously, just, just come I look. Have, my negative one intelligence tells me that maybe someone set up a big lantern outside. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Just come look, you pansy. I'm staring at it. Okay, so you, as you look out the window, you see outside this l huge flame, as if it's a massive bonfire just erupting from the center of, like, the southern tier of the town. As right, you're looking I'm out... Sure, I'm sure Satan and I'm now up. I'm just going to head outside, I guess. Alright, so Ryan, you head outside, you see the same thing he does, except you can like, kind of feel the heat coming off this massive blaze, and then suddenly a large explosion's heard in the distance. You see shrapnel of wood and stone get flung hundreds of feet into the air. You see Logan. several dozen guards running to the scene, running about. You hear warning alarm bells starts clanging all over, and off of the distance you can almost hear screaming, like a lot of a yelling and screaming. Hey Logan, we should go outside. I'm sorry. I had a aneurysm from Discord. Um, oh. Mm -hmm. I walk outside <laughs> and wait for either my inevitable t death <laughs> or uh, whatever the fuck is causing this. You know, look around for it, I guess, because why the hell is the world ending? Oh, you're walking outside, Logan? Yes, you meet Ryan. No, oh, man, yeah, I wanted to stay are. in the yeah. wood building. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't either. Um, How are you doing, Logan? I see hey, Logan West, of course. I'd try and figure out what's going I on. I hope so. Like, what's actually in uh, more As detail. of right now, you have not finished your long rest yet. You're like, ah, so I'm gonna die. You're like a chunk of the way through it. I'm gonna die as soon as something breathes on Joe? me. Ryan, ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh so, Joe, what did you say? I'm not allowed to sleep. I said I was gonna try and figure out what is actually going on. Uh, how are you going to attempt to do this? Um, <laughs> going to run towards the fire? Are you going to run towards the fire explosions? Are you going to ask somebody? Are you going uh, to pirouette off the uh, bridge? I don't know. What, what are you going to do, Joe? <laughs> I don't know. The half elf, uh, human, uh, the half the half probably going to uh, ask rogue somebody, like, read. like, one of the higher ups what's going on. Um, like, at, the actually known people. As you ask, like, the owner of, like, the inn, they basically tell you, we have no idea! Someone just exploded! <laughs> Someone just exploded in the southern tier of town, you... How are we supposed to know? In... Wait, is that where the pits were? Yeah. Um, make a perception check. Okay. Plus, what the fuck is the plus? Oh, it's a two? Okay, so, uh, fifteen? Um, from your general, like, position, you can tell that it wasn't, like, directly on the pit's location, but it was, like, next to it. Like, right next to it. Oh. Well. It's next to the pit. It's, like, near where the pit was, guys. Um. Time for a new town. Um. <laughs> yeah. Can I make a perception check to see if the building was a factory or not? More, more like... What's it called? Like a chemical. Um, you know what, Joe? Give me a uh. Ooh, actually, here, Joe, I'll, I'll I'll do you one better, because technically speaking, you're you're along the right track for what I was thinking about. Uh, mm -hmm. what is your? You know what? Just give me just a straight. <sighs> give me a second. I gotta pull something out of the oven. Or else my, or else my house will be burning to the ground. <laughs> Too bad it didn't happen. I mean, what? How dare you, Intro? Sorry. There's an adorable Bubsy there. You yeah, I'm, so I'm sorry. Keep keep the Bubsy alive, though. No one cares if John cooks, but. <laughs> <laughs> just keep the just, just keep the Bubs alive, and everything will be okay. Joe, give me a, uh, just give me a plain old intelligence check. I would say history, but, I mean... Search same, drooling. Same modifier. Realizes modifier is negative four. <laughs> just... Let me... Let me look at my... Intel 
intelligence. Oh, this one. Uh, fifteen. Oh yeah. So you remember from just being around that side of town that right near the pits where that where the explosion took place um, mm-hmm. was actually an infirmary or hospital. Um, because huh? that's the thing I broke out of. Or no, 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 I no. Got dragged to. No, no. The place you broke out of was like an abandoned building. Like the place you broke out of was like a burned out abandoned place in like the middle of the place like, I woke up and nope that was on the north, think, nope, northern side of town it was a di- it's a, it was a di- it's a different it's like the poor man's infirmary it was an infirmary it's like you've never been to this place but you know it exists because you walked by it a few times that's the infirmary why is it exploding and on fire anyway John, did i tell if this is more like a temato or like what's it called magic or explosion uh oh give me an give me an arcana check Twelve plus what is my timer? Plus four, so sixteen. Alright. I mean you are quite a distance away and you were just kinda of like woken up out of a sleep, so you're not like a hundred percent sure, but you can make a pretty decent educated guess based on the fact that, you know, there'd probably be some kind of magical residue that you could probably see, detect, or at the very least you know, you're you're familiar with how you know, magical fire works and how magical explosions work compared to like a chemical fire. And as far as you can tell, this was not a magical doing at all. Like this was not magical in any way. This was simply oh. just, this was something physical, chemical, something along that nature. Huh. Well, I mean, we could go check the infirmary and try to help some people, but it's 10 and Joe would probably get yelled at, so I don't know. So. <laughs> the other the other hospital Shit is on the northern so. side of town across the bridge. This was what the one for the southern district. One hospital it, for the whole district. Might have to be tents to get in to the northern uh, side of town or across the bridge. Yeah, could be an idea. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Steal some witch people. St- I mean, what? Is that what you want I to mean, do? That, then? That'd be no, my no, idea. Not. What was that, Ryan? Just no. Oh, okay. Sadness. So what are you guys going to well, do? Well, I'm going to I'm going to walk up to the infirmary and see if By I the way, as you guys are like just sitting there, you see like firefighting crews going trying to like, you know, douse the flame. You see like come you know on, I'm going to run over and help the firefighters if I can. I would too. Okay. With my whopping two fucking health. Does one of you know cure wounds? No. Nope. Horn Does did. One of you have a <laughs> potion of healing. Nope. Is no, either of you it's... useful in any sense? <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't do uh... way walls. I think that might do something against the file. But guess what? I'm an evil tailor. I have no dead twist. I, I have uh, acrobatics and athletics. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> Joe's gonna do some acrobatics on your health, how, Logan. How, how, how <laughs> in is that born in, Fred? Yeah, who's okay? Okay, I could smell really strong. Yeah, now in is not born in, right? You're good. Wait, no, we yeah. should have all taken a long rest, a uh, short rest at least. Yeah, you all got a short rest then, so yeah. Okay. Sh- short rest, definitely. I don't know what I do for this, I always just had to click a button. And oh, your, then... oh, your hit dice? Well, it says recover, and then there's key, and then it says reset maximum HP changes during this rest. You know, uh, what the fuck y- that means. And uh, then what you can do. Hit die 1v8, total yeah. 3. Yeah, how, how, many, yeah. how many hit die do you have, Logan? You said 3? Three? 3? Yeah. Uh, okay. So how, how hit die work is during a short rest, um, you have a limited number of di- So imagine like a hit die is like one like actual physical dice. You can roll three of your D8s, or you can just use one of each. You can do, you do one at a time. You can do all at once if you wanted to. And whatever the numbers you roll come back, you can regain that health during a short rest. Sure, which one of these is a D8? A uh, diamond looking one. Oh, that fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but the, well, uh, what's it called? Your hit dice don't come back until you've completed a full long rest. So just know these are temporary. One. It looks more like two, two, two of the D3s, though. Five. Five. Twelve. <clears throat> so, heal twelve. Okay. okay. 
Alright, sending it. Hey, right, never mind. I'm not. I'm not about to die, guys. Let's go <laughs> help people. <laughs> Wait, what, Ryan? Oh, I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Okay. If that's an infirmary, and the one dude was taken there, could it possibly lead up to the having something to do with the dude Logan fought yesterday? Not there. So good luck asking me questions. Because I already called <laughs> the firefighters to help put out the fire engine. Well, Logan well, just walked that's, what I, that's what I'm doing too, but I guess it's more kind of of a um, self-thinking while helping, I Fair. guess. Alright, so you guys run over and you try to... Uh, so they, they basically just, you know, everybody's just kind of like running around. Uh, you help, you know, grab some buckets. Uh, you know, they start throwing them on the fire. They they do have some like steam-powered hoses, like, like water pumps... Um, so those kind of, like, you know, are used on the fire. Um, eventually, after maybe a good, like, hour and a half of fighting the fire, eventually it does, you know, get under control before it burns the city to the ground. Um, as, uh, what's it called? As you guys are finishing up, though, I want both of you to make a perception check. Okay. Thirteen. <laughs> How much, Three. uh, Joe? Thirteen. 13? I rolled, I rolled a nat 1, got Ooh. a 3. You have a plus 2 for perception. Uh, Logan, yeah. you see, you see, you see, uh, you see smoke. You see smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah, smoke. Joe, you do see something. Um, you notice amongst the charcoal and the damage, um, first thing that, uh, that you notice, honestly, is that there's not a lot of bodies. So you can tell that like the, it wasn't like a full infirmary. So thank goodness right. for that. But you do see one thing. Um, just barely you see it. Um, but you do see a head. Like a like a severed head. That's not exactly looking pristine. Um, not just from like fire, but like it looks like it's like not entirely intact. As if it was like, part of it was maybe like ripped off or removed in some way. And as, as, as far as you can tell, it is the head, at least it looks very similar to the guy that Logan did just fight. The guy at the pit. Logan? Buddy? Uh, what? Um, right. Is this just me? I think I see the severed head of your uh, opponent last night. Um, oh, you being tonight? Tonight, yeah, it'd be the same night. Yeah, of your opponent. No, no, it's not that guy. Like, no, no. <laughs> of, of your opponent that you just fought. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. Um, I think we should leave town immediately. Maybe you're a coward. It's fine. Um, huh? I, I, I what's it going? Let me join this. <laughs> Ryan's is like way back at the end. Ryan's all, wait, Ryan, did you follow him to the place or are you back at the end, like enjoying the fire? Oh no, I'm not here. I've been just enjoying the flames. <laughs> Eventually the flames go any, down. Do you see anything Freaking. shiny in the rubble? Uh, make an investigation check. Ooh, I'm. Oh, never mind. I'm terrible at these. <laughs> Nine. Uh. I mean, maybe some, like, metal. Like, just some, like, scrap metal, basically. I mean... Can I check for... Can I do a supply check? Supply check? Sir, sir it's a burnt-down building. I know. For... <laughs> if if supplies actually didn't burn in the fire. Um, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you this, Joe. Um, I mean, Logan's just kind of looking for, like, anything, like, shiny on the ground. Just kind of, like, put in his pocket. If you actively try looting this place, it's probably not going to go over very well. The people... Well, if there is any of... supplies that survive this place... They're not going to be happy if you start taking it. <laughs> okay, well then, I'm going to probably try and investigate to see how, like, maybe the fire started. Alright. Make an investigation check, then. Can I help him? Yeah. Roll with advantage, Joe. Okay. You both going to... I don't know what advantage is, but... Roll you... twice, highest number. Yep, roll 2d20. No. Whichever number's higher, pick it. Plus... Plus investigation? Yes. Yes. 11. With advantage. You. Yeah, 11. I'm With advantage. I, <laughs> I rolled I rolled 2d20s. One was a 10, one was a 4. Wow. And your investigation's only plus 1? Mm 
I mean, mine's minus one, so... I know, but it's... J J Joe's character should... Oh my gosh, look at that. I guess it isn't. Okay, yeah, no, you have no idea. You have no idea Damn how it started. Well, <laughs> guess we're going back to the end. I'm going the fuck to bed. Actually, <laughs> I'd probably see, um... I'd probably talk to one of the firefighters. Yeah, you are the talkative type, aren't okay. you? Okay, so... To see uh, what <laughs> Shut up, Logan. To, to see what happened? <laughs> yeah. There was um, a fire. <laughs> I mean, he, he kind of looks at you and goes... He, he, he looks at you and goes, Well, we're not exactly sure what happened here. I would just go back to your home and just, you know, stay there for the night. It's under control now. Okay, goes back to the inn and uh, chugging heavily. Oh, <laughs> hi. How are you guys doing? Right. Fuck you, Ryan. I enjoyed this. I'm sure you did. It was probably your fault, you freaking dragon. Oh, I wish I did get blended. I truly do. All right. On that note, because Joe has to leave us at 10, I'm actually going to end the session here. I think this